give you back your homes or restore your dead to life. But perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. give you back your homes or restore your dead to life but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king
hearts, give you back your homes, or restore your dead to life. But perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. All right, I think we're live. Hello, hello. Are we live? Are we good? What's up, guys? Uh, this episode is brought to you by <laughs> Xanax and Jack Daniels, as oh, Lord shit, Jeff said man. earlier. Holy shit! I, I don't, I don't, I've got uh, mixed emotions about this. Yeah, of uh, course, I mean, me too. It, it's, uh, it was epic in the sense of the, I mean, visually stunning. You know, they all hope was like the whole time. You know, it's you have no hope, and you're like, and I told you like three quarters of the way through, I said they have to end this tonight. There's no, there's no escape. So anyway, I'm. It I'm, felt like the ending. It felt like the end. It, it felt like the end for not. Holy I mean, shit! I, I, I like the little preview thing. Um, you know where they're. It looks like they all celebrate and head. You know, head south to to fight Cersei. It just. Uh, I don't know. I'm still. I still got to process this. I think. I do too. I feel out of it. I don't know, dude. On the edge of your seat from jump. Yes. Yes. I, I just gotta say, 
fuck, they wasted the Dothraki, man. They I, so wasted the Dothraki. I don't think why, it would have helped. I even said, why did they charge? Yeah. Like, why, why aren't you not burning motherfuckers first? Anyway, uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> we, we, holy shit. Either way, it was fucking insane. Um, I don't know if we all expected a lot of this. I think uh, I think we expected some of the death. For damn sure. Um, the episode yeah. was great as far as the build-up and the anticipation. You're like, God almighty, it's just hopeless the whole time. And holy shit. Um, it, but it felt like the end. It felt like the end of the story for me. It felt like uh, now we got to deal with the Iron Throne, apparently, which is not even... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm very mixed on the whole uh, Arya thing. Yeah. Although we called the Valyrian Steel Dagger a long time ago as far as it coming to the end game. We did. Being yeah. Arya was yeah. odd for me. Like Bran knew it the whole time or something. Was he warging the whole time? What was he doing? You know? I don't know. It was cool when he got in the Ravens, but come back, Bran. Come yeah, back. I mean, what did he do after that? He just, I, I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, um, hello, everybody. <laughs> Again, uh, I don't know. I see a lot of mixed uh, in the chat here. We have a lot of mixed emotions. I see stupid as ever. I see great. I hated it. I loved it. I see it all. And I understand all of it, believe me. Um, first off, let's quickly go through it. Uh, is there anything uh, I forgot I was going to say? Uh, the book, the book really quick, is now available in paperback. Yeah. Uh, links and follow. look at my Twitter. There's a link there. Um, I don't know if it's in this description. I, uh, I, I do want to say this, just to get it out there. As an episode, it was amazing. Yes, yeah, yes. I don't like how it is ending the story. Right, for the Night King. We didn't so get answers. So it's mixed emotions. We, exactly. We didn't get answers. We didn't get answers of why and not why now. And it took away from John a little bit and the whole RLJ thing. is. I guess that's more about their relationship and what they do at the end as far as the political systems, which is fine. And we expected all that to a degree. But, uh, you know, a lot of people thought that, um, you know, Cersei would be the final villain, and they were right. We, we, we got it all wrong. As oh, far yeah, as, the as far ending, as that goes, yeah. As far as killing the Night King, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's really odd. So, anyway, we had the build-up, which was awesome. We saw Ghost. Uh, we didn't get an answer on Ghost. We never saw. We saw him charging. Is he dead or alive so again? So, I guess he's alive. I'm going to assume he's alive. I think we would have seen it if he was dead. I feel like we would have, too. So, I think we'll see him, like, in the, you know, with John in the hall next week or whatever. Um, but I was, like, yelling the whole time, like, Ghost, run away. Don't go towards that shit. There's no point. You might get one. That's <laughs> right. Just go away. Um, anyway, so Melisandre, though, this was odd. I mean, we expect her to show up. Yeah. Uh, Val and I had talked about this, but she came from the north. Like, she just rode up on a horse from nowhere, and I think it was, we called the fire trick. We no called the magic. Like, she did the little mumbo-jumbo, hocus-pocus shit, right. and old Valyria and high Valyria, and, and lit their swords on fire. That was badass and, looking. And last episode, we were like, felt like she should have been there. Well, yes. she kind of was, you know. She was close by. Yeah, see, I don't know where she was hiding uh, in the north. Right, she like, make a dramatic <laughs> entrance. I know, she just comes <laughs> trotting up by herself. Um, really cool with that, though. I mean, it was a cool trick, and then she goes out there and lights the the thing later on. The, yeah. The, the, the trench, because they, you know, Danny and John couldn't see. I thought that was really good. The storm was overwhelming and looked bad as hell. What... I will say I saw somebody say it was really dark and blurry. I agree. The fighting, you couldn't really see what was happening. But I, but I get that. I mean, they want to be realistic. But I, I like the storm and the epic dragon shots up by the moon. Oh, my and God, yes. the storm itself, you know, had them fucked up. They didn't count on that as far as seeing no. Davos waving the flames to light the trance. So Melisandre, I think that's fair for her, fair ending. She did something big in, yeah. in a sense. It didn't, over, it didn't matter 10 minutes later or five minutes later. But, uh, you know, she I like the meeting with her and Arya. I did like that. You know, they were too. on the same side all of a sudden and blue eyes. And there you go. They had the whole call back yes. to, to we'll meet again. So that was really, really cool, except the fact it was Arya. Yeah, like you said, she sent her on a mission. So, like, what yeah, do we say? She, and I told her, I was like, this is going to end tonight. I mean, the Night King. I yeah. was like, she's on a mission now. Like, she knows what to do or something. Um, cause you, you're talking about blue eyes Not today. You, exactly. You're talking about the night King. So I like their meeting and their reunion. It was instead of being, you know, uh, fuck you. You took my friend and all this shit. It was like, all right, we're on the same team now. Um, so we lost Ed first and we lost Liana Mormont. Yeah. We lost Jorah. Um, 
we lost was it is Jocko? Is it Jago? I forgot his name. The head Dothraki guy. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't remember his name now. They've we switched uh, so many times. Who else? Um, Beric. Beric died saving Arya, which was his purpose, I guess, or whatever mm-hmm. in, in their eyes, as far as the Lord of Light. Uh, Mama Joe saying Ghost is dead. Did we see Ghost die? I don't think we saw Ghost die. Or are we just assuming? I would assume he is too because they didn't come back with the horses. But I mean, I, yeah. I still think since they didn't show it, that we'll see him. That, like somehow he survived that, I which think, is really I, unrealistic. I think that's the way it is too because they would have shown it. I think so. Uh, Grey Worm, yeah, I didn't see the. I didn't see Grey Worm die, and I didn't see Sam actually die. I saw him laying there crying, but he right. was like buried. Yeah, and Almost. it looked like Brienne was buried right after that scene, and, and then, I was like, and that's when I was like, this has got to end now. Yeah. They can't get out of this. So you can't have the whole cast die right and have two people escape or now, whatever. The, um, the thing I think I said about the blurriness in the beginning is I thought they didn't want you to know if Jorah had been turned. Yes, but yeah, because he came they riding back and it was weird how he just rode by. They weren't turning instantly. He he waited till he raised his arms at the end before all of our. People right, right. When John uh, came up, and that was—I will say—visually, the Night King. This was the first time you got really close up to see his emotions, and like it was, you saw the, you know, it was, the color was different or something. It was more uh, lucid, I yeah. guess you could say. And John creeps up behind him. He's like, "Fuck this! I'm going to kill him now." He turns around and raises everybody before he can get there, and you were like, "Oh, he's fucked." I mean, and, uh, and then of course they had a little too many, you know, save your ass scenes. I think. Yeah. You know, like people are d- doomed, and then somebody's right. right behind them. But I, I don't know. So anyway, I'm not going to go through this whole thing because it was it was all the same battle essentially. Yeah. But uh, we we mentioned the the deaths there. Um, I see. Uh, the Night King John stared down. Just mentioned the walls were breached. Obviously, you felt this. You felt this crushing <laughs> hopelessness the whole time. And the, the, the you know the scoring absolutely helped that you felt hor- like oh my god oh, <laughs> they're just yeah. dead um, this is just going to end and Cersei wins that's how that's how it's going to end yeah, that's where my mind was going uh, yes um, Lyanna went out like a champ damn stabbed right. the giant in the eyeball as he crushed her and picked her up and little Lyanna Mormont the future of the house we kind of got that feeling last week when Jorah said you're the future of the house I know yeah so. Um, Lyanna went like a champ fighting, though. Um, Sans and Tyrion were about to do something. They did the Crips thing. That was the other thing. Sure as hell did the Crips. They sure did the Crips. They did it. Uh, It was people called it and always asked about it for the last uh, four years on here, at least, and everywhere else, I'm sure. Um, I was surprised. I was, too. Because I I thought it it, always sounded cool, but it wouldn't be something you'd really see realistically. But they made some, you know, it wasn't too many, though. It was more recent, I guess. Yeah. So, you know, there were still some, some not just bones or whatever. There's some meat there or whatever. So, interesting they did the Crips, but I guess that was a way to get to them down there with their own separate little battle or something. Yeah. But I don't know. So they had a few Starks come out, but it wasn't like some big thing, like the Starks are going to save them, save them from the Night King. You know what yeah. I mean? Like everybody, the, a lot of people had, had wondered. Um. Barrett goes out. The Hound, he was like shut down from the whole thing with the fire. He was, we can't win. The fire was all around him. Barrett says, tell her that. She, he sees Arya, and that's what set him off. And he's like, fuck it. He saves Arya, yeah. pulls her through there. Barrett kind of saves them both by blocking off the, the door. And he goes down real quick, and that's when they run to Melisandre. Um, dragon fight. The dragon fight was... Very fucking cool. It was very cool. Um, hard to tell who was winning. It was hard to tell who was getting cut up. Yep. Uh, you, I did see uh, the green, you know, on Dragal yeah. when he bit Viserion's neck and screwed his neck up so he couldn't really breathe, breathe the flame much <laughs> anymore. That. So that's re- it was really hard to see, but it was visually from when they panned back and you could see just the shapes, it was really cool. Um, but no uh, no dragon fights over the gods, huh? Done. You know, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen, guys. Uh, no more burning werewood theories. We're all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. So, I mean, we'll see at the end, though, if there's some kind of thing like they need to shut we it got down a, forever. We've got a few things right. Oh, I we got a lot right. About. We got a lot right. And, um, uh, for sure. But I want to see <laughs> this. Did, did you get the feeling that I was getting? Like, I know I said it out loud, but... I felt like Sansa was about to commit suicide. I thought Tyrion was. I thought Tyrion was going to like leave her there and then like run out and have them chase him so she could get out. I meant with the dagger. 
she oh, held it, no, I didn't and then think started she looking at each other. Herself. The music got sad, and I thought she was like, "Fuck this! I'm not gonna let him kill me." But that's why I said, "No, you're just gonna <laughs> you, make yourself join oh, them." Oh, okay, yeah, I wasn't even picking up on that idea of her her actually stabbing herself. I thought it was gonna be like a Romeo and Juliet type situation. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's true. Um, but now that it, we, I will say really quick about Tyrion and Sansa. They had their little conversation uh, earlier about uh, we, you know. About marriage again. Touched my heart. It, really, and she said it wouldn't. Uh, we wouldn't be right for each other. And he was like, "Why?" or something. She said, "You're the best of them all." Yeah, you were the best of them all. Um, so that was pretty cool. That was great scenes for damn sure. I'm still a little confused and uh, I don't know, shocked a little bit about the ending as far as the Night King being gone. He's done. I mean, that whole story's <laughs> gone. I know. It's I just want to go up and go to Bran. No, you just. This is how, I mean, that's the way it was. So seriously, they like literally gave it away last episode with, uh, he's coming for me. He yeah. just wants me. He's going to come to the heart tree. I'm going to be bait. You got more secrets than my sister's diary. I forgot to mention Theon. Theon went out. He went out charging. Yeah. I don't know why he couldn't just stand back and wait or something, but Theon charged him and. He Thelma and Louise that. He did. He's like, I guess, uh. <laughs> But Bran was just like, Theon, you're a good man, thanks. <laughs> he knew what he had to do. Yeah. He knew he was going to die. But uh, why not give it the old, you know, <laughs> let's let's give it a shot. We should have tried the cream technique or something. <laughs> no, just stand there and look cool. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know. Um, but that, I, yeah. Oh, my God. He ran it, into the belly of the beast. Um, so, yeah, Theon, uh, his watch has ended as well. And I think that's all. So we had uh, – then we saw White Ed, White Lyanna, um, Jocko. We never seen Theon or anything like that, I don't think. Jorah died at the end from so many wounds protecting Danny. Danny picked up her own little sword, you know, trying to hold her own, you know, when Drogon flawed. That was a big worry. Drogon, you called that to a T. I did. And him landing and them overwhelming him. He, he finally, I was like, fly! I was sitting there screaming yes. fly like he could hear me. I know. I was trying to scream. I don't know the Valyrian word for fly, <laughs> but I would have yeah. said it. Um, but he gets in, uh, he does come back at the end when and protect Danny and lay there. So he's alive. He's injured, but he's alive. He's good to go. So that made I, I me guess, feel so good. I guess I'm not sure. Rhaegal was injured, so I don't think we know if Rhaegal's dead, right? I think he was just injured. He landed with John, fell off. Yep. So I don't. I think Rhaegal's fine, but severely injured, uh, I guess. Saddest so, for me was what you were talking about, about uh, Jorah. I really believe that was – there were so many touching scenes, but I think there was. Danny crying over him, and, yeah, and it made you go through your – And it was – what I really liked is him and uh, Beric's death – they didn't have words. You didn't need words. Right, right, you didn't. You didn't need any dialogue or some cheesy line or whatever. It's just that's the way it was going to happen. You know, it was like it was an unspoken thing in their eyes or something. They did what they were supposed to do. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, uh, it was uh, interesting there with the with the really or really cool to see that, that Drogon was still alive. And, or, you know, he's hanging on. Yeah. Um, we talked about the Crips. Uh, I was actually surprised they did the Crips coming out, which was, it kind of looked better than I thought, though. It looked yeah. a lot better than I thought. So I'm not I'm not mad at that at all. Um, uh, but, yeah, I, I was just saying here, my little notes, I just scribbled down a few things because the whole time we were just like, what the fuck, what the hell? You know, the it was the time. whole time. Um, I'm sure, like, all you guys yeah. thought. Yeah, heads turning, looking yeah, at each yeah, other. Yeah, like, I, was, I looked at you several times, like, are we, are we fucking shitting me right now? <laughs> you know? Uh, Cause I knew midway through it had to end there. They could not escape this, you know. Otherwise, there's no story to finish. Which it kind of again felt like it finished the story. But as soon as uh, this is way in the beginning, sorry, but as soon, <laughs> as, soon as she we're doing it told Jorah to tell the Dothraki to raise their swords, you were like, "She's gonna light them up." Yes, I said, we call the and, magic trick, dude. That was it cool. Was so that looked badass. Cool. And then she lit up the thing. She started losing. Hope a little bit, and they were protecting her while she was lighting up the. the and you the, said the that scene with her, with the fire in her eyes. Yeah, that was badass. You were like, "Oh my god, what a good shot!" There it was, was so many visual great shots in this one, regardless of what happened. There was so many great visuals and, and like detailed close-ups of like the Night King and 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 uh, Melisandre. The dragons flying. Uh, I said this earlier. I was like, "Fly higher over the clouds." You sure as hell did, and then and all of a damn sudden, damn sure they went up like ET in front of the moon. That was so cool. That was badass looking. I mean, it was outstanding visually. Um, and then, uh, as I mentioned uh, at the end, Melisandre walks out, and her job is done. She's told uh, Davos early on, "I'll be dead by dawn." She was right. 
She walked out, took off the choker, and fell to dust. Uh, that was it. She she so she did her blaze of glory thing with the fire and the the trench, and then just kind of and sent Ari on the mission. And sent Ari on the mission, She's and that was it. Very important. So in this it was, I I I like that ending where she was done. She's tired. She's two you know hundred and whatever year two hundred something years old. And uh, she's off to dust. She's gone. She's free of this whole curse that she's been yes. under, essentially. Agree. So, very cool ending for her. Uh, the main thing, uh, and we'll get here into questions here in a second, guys, is I'm just not really satisfied um, with the Night King. Not that it w didn't look cool. Uh, I appreciate Arya getting caught by the neck and dropping it like she did Brienne and stabbing him with the other hand. Valyrian still hurts him, but dragon fire straight on don't. Exactly. Because I, I mean, I knew it wasn't going to work when Danny's like Dracarys, because I said it with her. Right. And then he. It she, was a Jason it, Voorhees moment. It was. You, you knew he was going to walk out of the flames, and he's like, hit him again. He's standing there smiling. Smiling. Yep. So how does that work? You I know, we don't. Know. That's the what I mean. We didn't get the explanations for. It. We didn't. Bran didn't say anything. He just wore some ravens again. Saw him in the in the clouds, and he was just stuck in warg mode. Doing what? Right. I mean, like he didn't no astral plane stuff we had all talked about as far as the the struggle and the weirwood net, you know, all know. this stuff that a lot of us on YouTube, especially uh, long time book and show what readers and show watchers uh, together um, coming up with very detailed in game descriptions of how this ends and how you kill him and no, it's just the Valyrian steel dagger. Yeah, uh, which we we did call that being uh, important in the end game. I think a lot of people thought that, right? Um, but damn, and you then they also all crumble. Said, they all crumble away. You know, you're like, all right, he survived the dragon fire, but he reaches down and picks up his sword. And you're like, they couldn't even melt the sword. Well, you didn't say that word for word, but I knew that's what you meant. Yeah, it was an ice sword. Yeah, it, it's still fine. And you mentioned his armor didn't even burn. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that kind of stuff's frustrating. Uh, K Dub is saying, yeah, visually stunning, confusing as hell in the plot. I, I agree. I think that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna have to watch it again and yes. uh, process it. But I think um, without the, I'm disappointed in the lack of story. Finishing the story about the Night King and the others and who he was and why he's back now, you're just not gonna get those answers unless we see something. With, like I said, they could come back around in episodes. Four, five, and six, and have Bran maybe discuss it, go back and check out, and tell them why he was back. Maybe so. I hope there's still a little bit of hope he could see something like that, yeah. where because he's alive. Bran, well, I expected him to die actually. Right. Um, I, I just think uh, he needs to go back and at least. And now it's going to be odd because it's like an information dump. Unless they have, I mean, maybe uh, they can have a conversation back in Winterfell before they leave and go south and. Bran, why was he here? You know, something. Start a conversation where he can check. Right. Because Sam never used any books. No, we need that, man. We, we do. We Sam never used any books to figure out how to beat him, why he's here, the history, the first long night, any of that shit. So that's what I'm disappointed about. Yeah. It was like more, here's a cool-ass battle. It's going to be hopeless. Arya saves the day. They all crumble and no explanations. This is what we're afraid of. You know, this is what we're afraid of, That that type of ending. Here's okay, and I know there's going to be plenty of this kind of discussion, but I go back to Blood Raven's cave. Yes, if all he wanted to do was kill Bran, why didn't he just do it there? He, <laughs> you know, it felt like he let him go there. It, it kind of, yeah, exactly. for something bigger. Well, I guess to get down to the Seven Kingdoms for his revenge, to get it, let him go through the God. world, right, and break the. I, I don't know. So I feel like I feel like that too. Um, anyway, I know you like got a lot of questions up, coming if, in. If she hadn't stopped him, yes, you know, we can only assume he was going to kill him. Yeah, he was reaching for yeah. his, uh, his and uh, then, scythe. What right? was he going to do? Uh, Just go. My kill journey's him? over, and now I'm going to King's Landing. Or is, I, I, was Brian the journey? Exactly. We don't. We don't know. Yeah, I'm assuming uh, since that happened this way, that what Brian said last week was absolutely correct. He just wants to make kill everybody. So he would have kept going and just wiped out Westeros, I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, I think they just gave it away last and week. And, and wanted to kill Bran really bad because he's like the warning he's, signal. He, he could stop it. And he, he, he has some the memory chance. of all the world. Exactly, the memory of the world. I, I really love that last week when Sam said that's what death is, not being remembered. Yeah. So that's really cool in the sense of a story. But I, I just, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just a little disappointed, man. I'm a, I don't, it didn't have to, it didn't have to happen 
don't get me wrong, it's not about my theories or whatever. It really is really not. Uh, it's not about like, oh, I wanted to see the God's eye or I want to see, you know, it's, it's about like, you know, what's the point? You know, was it just revenge? You want to see, because you, you wanted the Night King's perspective. You know, you wanted to see he was cursed, you know, 5,000 years ago or eight or whatever it's going to be now with this prequel coming out. Yeah. And you wanted to hear his side of the story, not directly, obviously, but you know what I mean as far as what he wants and who he was and that big reveal about being a Stark. So, again, maybe, well, I'm hoping HBO, <laughs> I can't, they've already filmed it. <laughs> yeah, like, that's but, right. Yeah, but yeah. next week, at least before you go deal with Cersei and we find out about how they changed the system and who rules the throne and John and Danny's relationship, Bran find out and give us some information about who he was, what he was all about, why now, all that stuff that you know. Now we're all like pissed and we're, we don't know. So anyway, well, that's where I generally stand. I, I know that's all over the place, <laughs> so I apologize. But um, I think I think I'm seeing a lot of this in the chat as well, as far as like you know, great, horrible, love the you know, love the uh, you know, visually it was stunning, gorgeous. Probably the best visual episode they've ever made. Yeah, I, agreed. I, 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 no doubt, because some yeah. of the shots. Even were just when he was gorgeous. raising his hands, the zoom in on his fingers were perfect. Yeah, everything was yeah. a lot clearer. It's almost um, like this was ultra HD, and the rest of them have not been. <laughs> or something I don't know. Could you imagine <coughs> losing your virginity one day and saving the world the next? Yeah, I know. So <laughs> this has been all about Arya, man. Arya, your arc's no, over. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not mad that Arya is the one to do it. I think what I'm saying is just it kind of takes away. From from the, any, uh, now I said this before, so I, I was kind of in, in a way onto it. The Azor High is not one person. I've, oh, I've yeah. said that for years, so I, I'm fine with with that. But it, it takes away a little bit from the the Targaryen John thing. So is it? I guess it's just about what they choose. And we heard Jenny's song last year, so we know kind of what's going to happen now with that. If you if you watch that video on Jenny's song that I did, uh, or a lot of people. Yeah. And uh, so it's really more about now how they deal with it as opposed to some evil threat with the Night King and John being this magical savior, which I think that's good, actually. It's yeah. not one person. It's all the, everybody working together. But John almost got lost in this episode after the dragon part. Like, he was yeah, he was busy trying to get there. He did. Um, with uh, Viserion landing there, still injured. Somehow he figured out how to breathe flame again without, with the hole in his neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and so He was like... L-A-L. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So, Freakazoid robot. Exactly. Um, anyway, so. Hey, I do I, want to say this. Um, <laughs> the special, the, you know, the Targaryen blood was absolutely necessary for what happened in this episode with him, you know, yeah. needing to be able to have that kind, be in tune with that dragon that much. That you know, and him uh, chasing Danny and trying to fry her, and she's not burning again. I was yeah. I mean, look I how many that, close calls John had. I thought they were trying to show that, too but it didn't him. show her clothes catch on fire like before. Like, so I don't know if it was getting to her or not. Quite. Right, it looked like it was kind of close at least. I thought so too. But you would have seen. You would think she would. I thought her hair was going to singe or something. Well, they know? didn't do the hair in the show the first time. They do that in the books. She comes out bald when she blows yeah. dragons. So I understand the hair idea just for the show. But no, visually. I thought, but the first time wasn't dragon fire. I thought the dragon fire might send your freaking hair. Yeah, yeah. We, n- no then, idea. But it's supposed to be magical, but Did you get that feeling, <laughs> though, with the blue fire and John, that they were still trying to show us he's fire? I mean, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like was bending around that. corners and I almost was touching him. the last time when he started yelling no right in his face, yeah. he was going to get bathed in it and not I did, burn. too. I, I thought that was going to happen, and he just ducked again. Uh, yeah. So... <laughs> Um, he was just ready to die, and that's when, or it was the moment he was going to die, you thought, or, or not get burned, or whichever way it went. Yeah, yeah. And then that's, Arya that's right. saves yep. the day, and everybody drops, and everybody's finally so saved. So maybe that scene hasn't happened yet. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, okay. I know. Sorry, guys. A lot of questions. So um, let's see what we got here. Uh, appreciate all you guys subscribing. Really appreciate it. I know I got a lot of Super Chats coming in, too, and I got Patreon stuff um, as well. <laughs> Uh, D Brown earlier on Patreon, I'm not ready. Uh, Legal Jedi agrees. We wasn't. We were. I'm pacing. Yeah. Really, the whole time. Um, Mazuma, what's up, man? I think he's here now. He's saying he was going to be late. Um, LC and Manny, I responded to you earlier. You were saying, uh, uh, oh, John being unburnt like Danny would be. Yeah, and that's what we were just actually saying. It, it would have been cool to kind of see that. Maybe. 
maybe they'll bring it up as far as uh, – because, I mean, it looks like some of that fire kind of got to him. I don't really know, but I guess they're not going that route. Um, let's see here. Um Legal Jedi therapy tonight. Uh, bracing myself who will not only die, but who will be undead. Yeah, so we did see Barrick. No, no, I'm sorry. Ed open his eyes. Um, who else do we see open his eyes? Uh, Liana. Three people. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was Jago. J yep. Jago. Or, I, yep. I, I, that may not be his name. I keep forgetting. I'm mixing up the Dothraki guys. Yeah, the whole Dothraki were lost instantly. I mean, they just rode up and, and there was Dude. four rode back <laughs> in Jorah. And where'd they go? They just kept going. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, my like, God. I'm going. I'm out. <laughs> yes, that's what I would have been like. Man, exactly. fuck this. Hey, you called it, though. You said, oh, my God, the torches are going, their swords are going to go out. And they started going out. And, man, it, yes. my chest you, got so tight. You knew it was coming. You absolutely knew it was coming. Um, let's see. Lord Kev, I'm, I'm sorry. These are old here. I apologize, guys. I'll try to refresh this page. These are old from right before yeah. the episode came on. Uh, anyway, let's let's grab some of these while we're refreshing that. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna, let's start at the top. We can figure out what's going on here. Uh, thank you, Randy, for the super chat. Appreciate thank it. Sweet Matsu. Love that Arya did it, but I didn't love the episode in some ways. I think killing the Night King now changes everything a little follow in a less interesting way. I could be wrong. I also thought it was oddly paced in a way. Yeah, I think you summed up exactly kind of what we said. This, yeah. this whole uh, little rant, uh, mini rant tangent. Again, don't Although, get me wrong. I'm still really mixed about it. Once I think about it and process it, maybe it'll make more sense because we do want to see how uh, Westeros changes uh, down in, you know, with Cersei being deposed of and all that stuff and how John and Danny handle that. That's all important. I'm not saying it's not. Yeah. But it just. To me, it feels backwards. Like you set up totally this whole agree. thing from the prologue, and this was great. But like the battle was outstanding, um, and what everything it should have been. But to end it with no, with no reason, like yeah. that's my thing. And really, I thought it was paced fine, as far as yeah. I think the they they gave us little breaks. Little, yeah, they gave us little <laughs> breaks of like in quiet, like in, in the library, the with library Aria scene, and stuff like that. in yeah. the crypts. But you still knew it was going on. I had a weird, um, uh, I kept saying it to Chris, Noah's Ark feeling when they were in the crypts and the people were screaming, let me in, let me in. And yes, they, yes. And yes. then their voices stopped. Oh, my God, that was crazy. <laughs> right. Sorry um, about that. Yvonne Lee, thank you, Yvonne. Where the fuck is Ghost? Why the fuck was he in the Vanguard? That's what I said, Yvonne. I was yelling, run that way, backwards. Why are you up there? Why are you not in the... Crips protecting Sansa or something. That would have been a perfect spot. Exactly. Don't have him out there. It's dumb. Uh, I guess he just... Think about how different Sansa would have felt down there. I'm telling you. Exactly. I mean, have him down there with Sansa in the Crips. There's no reason for him to be out there. So, again, we didn't see him. I don't remember. I could have missed it. So, it, you know, let me know in the chat if you saw anything with Ghost. But I think he... I, I'm assuming that he'll survive. He shouldn't survive it. But I think they probably will have him survive it. Um, I see a $5 super chat. It says message retracted. I can't see a name, so thank you. I'm not sure who that thank is. Uh, Jeff Lawson, thank you for the super chat. Lame as fuck thoughts. Uh, Jeff, you've heard us saying right. mixed. pretty much what we're, yeah, uh, mixed emotions about it. Overall, great visually. Um, the hopelessness was all there. The oh, horror. yeah, they captured that. Um, no doubt. Uh, you got the feels. Uh, people were dying, all that stuff we expected, but I, I just don't like the. It felt like the end, and it wasn't it like the wrong end. You know what I mean? Like there was no explanation. I don't Agreed. know. So I have, to, I have to process this more. Give me that episode five. Uh, yes. Uh, Eric Newcomer, thank you. Appreciate the super chat. She killed a giant, but man, Liana was done rough. Yeah, she was. Uh, I'm sorry, I liked it. You like the scene? I know. I think she got what she deserved. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I don't want to catch hell there over that. There are people that agree with you. Okay, that there good. are people that agree with you. She got a little too. Uh, yeah. I'm not saying I'm happy she died. No, I'm not either. Know. I felt no, bad, no, I, but I, yeah. damn it, girl. Yeah, <laughs> I know, you right. Know? Like, like tone it down just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, <laughs> you know fucking, what I'm saying. You know? Yeah, no, I think uh, I think she went out like a champ, charge, and we kind of expected her to go. Um, like I said, with the Jorah thing. Yeah. But damn, man, it was like. Um, he lifted her up, and that's the part that was kind of like, you know, you don't really, he would just, you know, leave her alone. He don't, He's not into looking at her, really. He was, I guess he's going to bite her. Agree. He was going to bite Since her. Since he's just necromancy, you know. Right. So, like, but what's he inspecting? Got her close it, to the one know. eyeball, and she stabbed yeah. it, killed him, and then she's, she's obviously done. And then she was a white for a minute before, or, or a couple minutes, I guess. Do you think they heard our complaints about 
one one not swinging something because that motherfucker was swinging. Apparently, like they had this giant pick up a tree. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, exactly. One one could have hit the battle of the bastards <laughs> a lot quicker. <laughs> exactly, he never picked up a tree. Uh, Randy again, thank you, Randy. I think they dorned the Night King storyline. Yeah, I mean, right now I agree. That's a good point. That's uh, kind of way they they just made it really cool looking. And Brand just sat there all chill, like he knew it was going to happen the whole time. Why didn't you tell somebody, right. Brand? You know what I mean? Yep. Tell Theon to leave. Yeah. He don't have to die. It's hopeless, Theon. If he's going to walk up to you anyway, he don't give a shit about Theon. Theon could have ran that way. That's right. And been fine. Yep. But he, like, he wanted to die, I guess. I can't blame That's him. That's crazy. I can't blame Theon for not for wanting to die. He don't have a ding I, I, I know. <laughs> I think that factored in. I think it really did. I, I really do. Um, but anyway, it was cool. He he saved Bran. He, he tried to save Bran. Um, Arya actually saved Bran, but he tried. Um, Tom Bystander, thank you for the super chat. We were, were you having trouble watching the Dance of the Dragons of the Night Sky? Do you think we'll get another flashback about the Night King? Uh, Rhaegar, Rhaegar lives. Uh, yeah, I mean, we were saying it was really dark. I couldn't tell. I was like leaning close. We had all the lights off, so there was no glare um, before we turned on all these lights. Right. And we're like, I still couldn't see who was like scratching who. I just saw claws, and only the one time I saw the color really good of Rhaegar where he bit the neck. So uh, they, it was definitely dark in some spots. Um, uh, Amy, thank you, Amy, for these super chats. Spent season eight build ups, uh, spent eight seasons building up to the White Walkers to have an end like this. So disappointed. Uh, this felt like just an Aria fan service episode to me, to be honest. Shaking my head. Yeah, um, a little bit, a little bit. Um, it's, I just, like, again, I'm fine if Aria does it. I, I have no problem with it being Aria. Yeah. Um, I think that's cool. And her training came in, to, you know, to Right. You, so. It helps. Yeah. Yeah, it wraps up that whole mm-hmm. why does she go off and become a fighter type thing. But yeah, just we, we don't have an explanation. Uh I mean, how do you how the, the Valyrian still actually help it working on him? Yeah. Um I thought that was gonna be the old shit moment. I was like, Oh, we're gonna get this right when John was chasing him. Me he was gonna pull a long claw too. and hit him and he just banks off and he goes, Oh shit, and then he does all what Me he did. Me too, dude. But uh yeah, just uh I hated the not and, the, and again, there's still some hope that we get some kind of explanation. Part of the Aria fan service that I did like was the sticking with the pointy end. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I, I, I think it's fine when they do callback lines. They've done yeah. that now every every episode this season. Every one. Uh, let's see here. Um, Austin Gonder. Thank you, Austin. What happened to Ghost? George Death was heart-wrenching. It was. He was getting tore up. I mean, he was like <sighs> in his last drop of blood yeah. fighting. I um, gained so much more respect for him. Like, I was already up to here. Yeah. The battle was epic, but I didn't think the Night King would die. Going to rewatch it, think it over, and to know how I feel about it. it what about you? Exactly. I, I think we're answering these before we get to them. It, it, you got to process this for a minute. I mean, it was uh, heart-wrenching all at the same time and disappointing, and but you loved it. It, it, I'm all over the place emotionally <laughs> right now. Same here. Because um, it, it really did feel like the end to me. But again, I will say, I'm not saying that the Cersei thing is not important uh, because it's more about the overall, I guess, it's more about how they change, you know, the Seven Kingdoms mm-hmm. with ruling councils or whatever they're going to do, like we've mentioned a million times on live stream. So that is important, but yeah, it just we- feels like it feels like you would, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's really odd. Did you not feel like we were going to get uh, down less, lower than seven people like we were thinking there might be seven <laughs> left at the end exactly. I was like holy shit yeah with the faith of the seven yeah um, yeah so much for all that foreshadowing and clues <laughs> about stuff um, we'll see what happens I mean you know it, again and I'm going to say it now there, it's going to be the same in the books uh, essentially there will be minor differences and whatever maybe location differences yeah. whatever it's going to be the same I mean, maybe we get a, a we'll get the Stark reveal or something. And again, we have three episodes left, so I'm not saying we're not going to get something else. Yeah, I'm just saying like you you do it. Maybe it'll make sense better once we see another episode and they do explain some things. Like Bran has a role. Yeah, it says like here's why he came. Another and all this kind of stuff. tie up Lucian's episode. Exactly. Yeah, that, that'd be great. Right. But a friend of ours watched it with us tonight, <laughs> and at one point I looked at him and I was like, all the people who are left alive. I don't give a fuck about everybody I care about is right here dying right now. I don't give a fuck about the people in King's Landing. Exactly. It sucks. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, as far as Ghost, uh, I mean, yeah, we, we said that. We assumed that he's going to live just because he didn't show us the death. So I'm assuming we'll see him. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ressa68, thank you for the super chat as well. Don't see a question. Um, Daddy Licious Gang, thank you for the super chat. Do you guys think the Night King could return? No, he's gone. 
That's it. There is no more White Walkers, period. That's all of them. That's mm-hmm. it. He was the first and the last. So he is uh, he is not going to return. The only way we'd see him is if we saw if they happen to do brand visions where he sees the past. Yeah. That's it. Um, Stephanie Townsend, thank you, Stephanie. Did Mel Spell sound like she kept saying Nisa? Uh, I don't remember. I know it was Valerian, but I didn't remember the Nisa. Have to listen for that again. I'll have to check again. I don't know. That's interesting. Um, A lot of people, that was another thing. A lot of people thought, you know, she was Nisa Nisa. We had always said there won't be a literal flaming sword. Right. Um, But it's, you know, it was dragons and other metaphorical things, and John was the metaphorical light bringer, but no, Arya is, apparently. That's what I mean by it took away from some of that stuff. Um, Rx Dude, thank you for the super chat. Blue eyes, you will shut forever. Yep, they told us. They told us, and, and we, every, people speculated this now, so it's not like this was a surprise. It was, we, we said with the blue eyes thing, I think a lot of people picked up on that back in, what, season four? Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, uh, I think it was, or three, where she meets Melisandre, and we say, blue eyes, well... That could mean Joffrey. That could mean White Walkers. But people, it gave you that idea. Yeah. But when she said it again this time, I was like, that means the, he, she's going to kill the Night King. Yep. That was it. Especially um, she turned and ran. It, she knew what she was going to do. Um, so, yeah. It's uh, pretty pretty surprising, actually. Uh, let's see. Stephanie Townsend. Thank you, Stephanie. Also, is brand useless. Hard not to be mad at him. Yeah, I it mean, is hard to it, be mad it was at him. it was a little odd. Like he, I'm gonna be the bait, which is fine. That's cool. Um, but he's like he knew the whole time. He thanked Theon for his service. Yeah, <laughs> and that was it. He looked. I think it was a cool little stare down. Like he looked up, like your dad, motherfucker. Yeah. Because, but if he knew, well, I don't know. I guess he can't say it or change his <laughs> things. I don't know. You know I was, what I'm saying? <laughs> nobody gave a fuck. But I was so wrong about him growing a beard. <laughs> Growing a beard. Not even a five o'clock shadow. I know exactly. I don't know what uh, they have. They shave them every ten minutes. Uh, Betty Lou, thank you, Betty Lou, for the super chat. Fantastic, fantastic fan. Well, there's a fan. There's a fan who loved it. And again, I I loved it overall as far as the visual and the battle and the music and the score, all that stuff. But eh, what enough answers? I mean, again, again, I'm just saying. I know I've said this fourteen times. Hopefully. They give us some kind of thing next week or the week, whatever, in the next three episodes it, to explain something. Th- this is exactly mm-hmm. what we expected. Take away the Night King dying. This was a great fucking episode. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Without explanation. Yeah. Yes. They, they, absolutely. Doing that like that <clears throat> made what was uh, maybe the best episode ever. And made you go, hmm, did I like that? Exactly. That's all. Right, exactly. Uh, because they did it uh, different from Battle of the Bastards. It was chaotic. It wasn't following one person. It was yep. everywhere. You were like, oh, my God. Because you, you, think, realistic you would to see me. people thinking they're fixing to die, and it would cut away to another scene. You're like, they get going to die while they're moving the camera. Yeah. Because, I mean, they were fixing to bite his face off. Exactly. So there were a lot of that kind of like, oh, shit, uh, you know, <laughs> tense yeah. moments. Um, let's see. The Lady Eternal. Thank you, Lady Eternal. Still shaking. So disappointed they didn't confirm the Night King is a protostark. Uh, did Gilly die in the crypts? No, she didn't die. That was another lady. I did yeah, see that. Yeah, I thought that. it was her too. Yeah, our friend yelled out, oh, it yeah. was Gilly, wasn't I'm like, no, nah, it wasn't her. Uh, it looked like it. Uh, not enough sun drop in Westeros to handle tonight, having Imp's Delight instead. Yeah, I was about to drink today, and I don't drink. I it told was, people earlier rough. I might be drinking. Um, anyway, uh, let's uh, grab some questions here from the regular chat for a minute, and we'll come back to these. Um, uh, again, thank you, everybody. appreciate Thanks, all the subscriptions. Everybody. Please yeah. subscribe if you have a minute. If you're new here, and welcome. We're trying to get to 100K. Uh, I think we're at like almost 80K. Uh, yeah, and I, I got some other stream labs too. So let's grab a couple from the regular chats uh, here. Um, let's see. Fixer Live, I called that Arya would kill him. I asked you about it over a year ago. I said Arya would kill him just like... Uh, Eowyn killed the witch, uh, the I guess the lich or witch king in the in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, see, I, I don't remember enough about the Lord of the Rings. People have been asking me about certain battles this week, and I don't remember enough about it. Um, as far as the details, I, I did see Lord of the Rings. I read them years and years ago, um, but I, I'm not familiar enough with the details to compare things. Um, yeah, no Hodor says Leland Hardy. No Hodor. Cross we kind bed. of expected that, but yeah, I did think about like, are we gonna they gonna shock us? Yep. They will surprise us. Technically, we should have, but, you know, there's so many. I mean, there's just so many. Hundreds of thousands is crazy. Um, 
So I, I, I expected that. Let me cut off this sound. I'm sorry. Did I, I forgot to cut off that sound. That's probably bugging the shit out of people. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, John Snow, uh, did, why didn't we see uh, white, Ghost die? Could he come back as a white? Yeah, but I think he lived. I think they would have showed us if he died. They showed us Summer. There's no reason not to show us Ghost. Yeah, I, and I there's guess. no more coming back as a white. No, that can't. Yeah, you can't see any more whites. There's no more Night King to raise them. That's right. So all that is is gone. But this this brings into question everything, because there's still magic. Yeah, dude, you're so right. So yeah. now it's not about magic anymore. Uh, it's about uh, how they change Westeros and the throne, you know, or lack of a throne. Wow. So we we did we got both dragons and I think we got ghost at us and they made it through this episode so I am happy about that we'll find out how bad Ragel, uh he's in bad shape but uh, we'll find out and see where that goes uh, let's see here um, let me find uh, Liz Perez that shit was amazing I can't sleep yeah this was definitely an adrenaline episode <laughs> for sure you were. On the edge of your seat. Either way, regardless of how you feel about it, the, right. the battle itself was just intense. I mean, it was insane. Um, let's see. Uh, Ezio, Auditor, q and I told you guys last week in my question that Nike was going to die next week and shift to Cersei. Uh, you could tell me how they set it up. Yeah, now, I assume a few just people were saying home. that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this was a thing we did talk about a few weeks ago as well um, about Cersei being the final villain. And, I just didn't and, buy it. And, and I, yeah, I didn't. I didn't buy it as far as the villain. I because to me, the villain is not so much Cersei as it is the as it is feudalism. Right. She represents that to me. Yeah. And so it wasn't about her. So that's what I meant about like building up the Night King from the prologue of the books and show, and then him dying out early. Essentially, is that what I think. makes no sense to me. And then they focus on Cersei. Whereas a, you could have kind of had them both at the same time and made it, I don't know. There's, that's there's, what I thought. <coughs> that's what I think I the other half people thought. It would all be like the si same. Simultaneously, right. which is going to wipe out feudalism <coughs> and him at the same time. Right. They're going to rise from the ashes. Uh, yeah, so, and I don't, anyway, but I mean, we're still going to see an interesting battle, you know, south and how they get rid of Cersei and what John and Danny do. There's all that stuff, and again, that's not... And all that wildfire. Yes, no, exactly. There's still a lot of things to be done and to finish it up, but it, I mean, that was the main thing for me was the Night King story. You know, why now, Proto Stark, all that kind of stuff, and we'll see. It. But again, there's a chance, there is a, a chance They'll that Bran is alive, that's they can right. still wrap that up and at least tell us something. Yeah. Is what I'm hoping. Um, let's see. Uh, T. Hughes, thank you for the super chat. Told you the Night King was getting Supreme Leader Snoked. <laughs> kind of weird, but I liked it, though. Will they get rid of Cersei too and have Fire and Ice uh, be Danny versus Sansa with John in the middle? Nah, that's it. I think Danny proved herself this time. Sansa knows that. She looked up and saw the dragons. Oh, yeah. Actually fire and fire. <laughs> fire and far. Mm -hmm. um, you know, breathing fire on the whites. They're going to be on the same team next week. There's no doubt. They're going to be on the same team about Cersei, and then Danny will you know, eventually say, look, we're going to go get her off the throne, and y'all can have the North. That's what's going to happen. Although Masande did say that in the crypts about... Yeah, she did. That's true. You know, if it wasn't for the Dragon Queen, I would be dead already. Yeah. That was poor. That was kind of more of that Sansa actually realized But I didn't think Sansa there. deserved it at that moment. I, I, I kind of felt like Sansa was saying, you know, just between me and you, you know what I mean? If you're working for her well, but she and was putting herself, me, Yeah, but she was putting herself on the opposite team. Right, I, I can I, see so, how Masande yeah. would stand up for her, but right. I just felt like Sansa would, didn't mean it right. that way. But it shows you, like last episode was a lot about Danny learning about Sansa, and this episode Sansa learns about Danny. A That's bit. a good way and, to and put from it. from other people. Yeah, it is. And her actions proving it. So I think that'll that'll be cool to see that come together. Um, Oberyn the Red Viper Martell, thank you for the super chat. Everything was going beautifully, but they fumbled the ball near the end zone. Kind That's of a agree. Good way to That's put a it. good, good, uh, good analogy. Yeah, kind of, kind of agree with that. Is what really we're good about. way to put it. Uh, do you think Melis? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Shanice. Thank you, Shanice Marsh. Uh, do you think uh, Melisandre knew Arya will be the one to kill the Night King? Arya didn't even cross her mind as being the potential savior of Winterfell. Yeah, I mean, I don't think she knew at the time, but now when she met up with her again and brought back the vision in her head about what she saw in her, I think she knew. Uh, I don't know if she knew, like, because she's, she's not one to get her uh, prophecies correct <laughs> a lot, but she's learned something, and she came back, and she knew it exactly what it meant, and that's why Ori went off on the side mission. 
Yeah. Like she left that room like renewed, you know. And and by the way, speaking of that, we did get the answer about who chasing Aria. It was just a bunch of damn whites. That's right. What no Night King hidden in the crypts. No. And, you know, or you know, we we guessed like it could have been a white uh, Gendry or somebody she knew. Uh, no, just a shit ton of white. She was overwhelmed, but she fought like a badass. I mean, that was she was a badass throughout the whole thing. They all were, but damn, it was just overwhelming. It didn't matter how good you are, you know. But she moves like a damn cat because she used to chase cats in King's Landing <laughs> in practice. Uh, anyway, um, let's see. Eric Newcomer, thank you, Eric, for the super chat. Kudos to the Sweet Dreams song re remix. I didn't, I didn't notice it, um, Eric. I, I always notice that kind of stuff on second and third viewing, but I was so caught up in like the visuals. I heard some of the, the scoring, but I didn't notice any any remixes of, of major songs. Um, I'll I'll see that I'm sure the next viewing I'll see John Livingston thank you for the super chat doesn't seem too abrupt one battle and the Night King is dead he almost has to return doesn't he very mixed on this episode he's not going to return that's it there's no more White Walkers there's no more any of that shit that's gone that's over uh, it was a little bit abrupt I think I mean he's been around for eight seasons so you can say it's not abrupt but as far as battles and like you kill him on the first time you take a stand. You know what I mean? It feels like they needed to back away. We get out of Winterfell and then make a stand somewhere else. After they learned some information from Bran. Yeah. But Bran was just like, what was he doing? I got to ask you something. What was he downloading the whole time? I mean, he wasn't in the Ravens the whole time, was I think he? we'll find out. Maybe. Like, I, I, I believe. Let me ask you this. How crazy. Of course, nothing's really crazy anymore. You got to admit that. That's true. That is true. But how crazy is this? You think he's gone. Well, he is personally, <laughs> but Kyburn makes Cersei into uh Oh, oh the like night, a night like, queen yeah. thing. Uh, I, Shoves the thing, hey, knows the spell. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, And it, now it, she it, can raise dead and all this crazy shit. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if they would go that route. That that would be to me. I don't know. I right know. Off, I know. Right offhand, I would think that would be a little too far. You Agreed. Know what I mean? Agreed. But no, Kyburn, Kyburn could be up to something. That's true. Uh, Carol Brown has a question in the regular chat here from uh, Boom. Uh, from Boom, I believe. Thank you, Boom. Why didn't the Night uh, Night King uh, touch burn Arya like it did to Bran? Um, Oh well, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it did. We we didn't. I don't think we saw her neck after when he grabbed her. Right. That's maybe, right. I don't think that we, might we'll be something to look for. Yeah. 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 Or maybe that disappears. Or maybe he can only mark you in a vision. Right, because he did that in the vision. Yeah. That's true. So that's true. Yeah. But now the question is, will Brands on his arm disappear now? I don't know. I would. Hope. I bet you it's gone. Like I he bet shows it is. you next week and it's gone. He pulls up his sleeve or something. So it's a a good question. I, I it guess really we'll see. Is. We'll see next week for sure. Uh, let's see here. Um, Sam L. Thank you, Sam L. For the super chat. Uh, Q and A. What, could they be saving the story of the Night King for the prequel? Uh, they certainly could, and people have speculated that. We just said that it'd we be didn't, so disappointing. It would be. Uh, we just said that it would be dumb for them, the showrunners, to leave that for another showrunner when they're leaving HBO and going to Star Wars. Right. So uh, you, they bought this story, A Song of Ice and Fire. So this is the story. You know what I mean? So again. We can get some answers through Brand the next episode or next couple, and I hope we do. And they, and I'm fine with that as long as they give us the answers. Just tell us why and who. Right. Now, we got to know that kind of stuff. You would think they would sit around after this and go, "Okay, we won." Now, can we find out why he was here? You know, like don't they want to know? I'm certain. I'm sure they do. So I'm, please, I'm, I'm yeah. Open. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying, give us some answers next week. Right. Uh, let's see, uh, Angie Silver. Anybody, Silver <laughs> anybody who survived that will not want that shit to happen again. No, yeah, they're going to make sure. That's that's a good point. Actually. Yeah, the let's can we make sure this is never going to happen again? Yeah, and then he goes. Please and sees, tell us exactly, exactly how so, to avoid this. That is true. That is true. Give us some answers. Uh, let's see, um, Angie Silvero. Thank you, Angie, for the super chat. Appreciate it. Don't see a question. Uh, Let's see, uh, Ressa68, thank you for the super chat. I love the episode, makes Cersei the main bad guy and sets up the rest of the episodes. Did Gendry live or die? Love your videos. Thank you. I think Gendry's good. I think I he think lives. so. And I think there was a shot in the preview, which I'll do the video tonight, on um, with Arya kissing Gendry again. So I think he lives. I'm pretty sure that was then. Cersei's I, I could, fucked. I could be wrong. <laughs> 
But so I think Gendry. If they cool. hump again, Cersei's gold. Uh, yeah, I think I think Gendry is good. Um, let's see, Idol o- O's, I believe. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, Melisandre saw blue eyes Arya when she was young. Uh, yeah, so we we talked about that, but the question is, I think was was did Melisandre know exactly what that meant? I don't know. I don't think she knew the whole time. I think she saw it and she has to interpret it, and then she figured out just at this moment or recently. Ah oh, shit! I know what that means. <laughs> You're the one to kill him, right? Uh, with a Brienne drop the, the knife and the other hand trick. A lot of people call that good call. Absolutely. I know there's pressure with all these questions, but I gotta say this. <laughs> no, speak, dude, that's what we're here for, dude. We're here for therapy. This is a therapy. I'm just session. gonna say this, and everybody, trust me, everybody that ever came up with their own theory of how this fucking <laughs> thing is gonna end likes their ending. So oh, I'm yeah. just gonna say this. I liked our fucking idea of our ending better. And, and, and I'm going to say, since since it didn't get used, put some of those concepts in your book, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe I will do that. I don't know if I have magic trees or anything yet, but we'll see. <laughs> Similar. Uh, anyway, but um, yeah, no, I I'm agree. I'm still picturing in my head the, when I was like, you know, it's going to be like, yeah. and all that. I, I was like, really amped to right. see that. No, I know. The Isle of Faces I know. And the Isle of Faces freeze and them come, you know, and all uh, well, that. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Here's the thing, though. You know, Damn you, you it, have a we lot of people. described a good fucking ending. We did. And we have a lot of other people that picked up on that, book readers that are really intelligent and all this stuff. And come to very similar conclusions recently, and uh, that we were, that makes you feel good because you know you're picking up on some of the same threads. That's right. Yeah. As far as hints and clues and book evidence and and all that stuff. Well, I mean, unless they just completely, because I mean they've already said it's going to be very similar. You know, besides minor things. So again, unless at least we get an explanation, we're just we're just wrong. Because well, I know when, <laughs> when, when he when he walked into those ravens, I thought he was going to find the night king. <coughs> Going south, not even stopping by. Yeah, there. exactly. Yeah, a lot of people thought. Yeah, he was back there in the cloud somewhere, just kind of waiting, like dramatically flying slow. Yeah, and then and he's like, like, "Make a bridge out of your body." Yeah, and that was one thing I forgot to mention earlier. He, the first time you saw him actually use his hand to control whites, right? And his, like, I, he was using the force and shit. Like, right. I, I, I thought he was doing something. How different. are they all doing all this shit without him? Like a, like, like yeah, he's like, <laughs> like dun, 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 dun. he's the fucking orchestrator. I mean, why show it now? After all the shit we've seen, Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? How is all this chaos going on? If he's got a move, know, I mean, does he got to do this? And yeah. seriously, no, he ain't got time for that shit. I mean, they've never showed that before. But it was just, I mean, it was a really cool looking shot because he got in really close and, like you said, there was fingers and, and face this time. But, yeah, it was really, like, odd. You never saw that at the lake last year. No. When they started testing the thing, he didn't go. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, he just sat there. I, I guess he just had to think about it. Um, and they pick up on it and go. But whatever. They uh, they added the the abracadabra move. As I soon mean, as that wait, first one walked in. You there's going to be memes coming out now, I'm telling you, with him with a <laughs> magic wand. You know what I mean? There's, you watch. Tomorrow or tonight, there will be memes about it, holding him in a magic mm-hmm. wand. Yeah, Night King's fucking <coughs> orchestra and Brand's just over there. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's sleeping. Damn, I'm just dude. A nap and Do damn something. Eye. Uh, let's see. Randy Sumatsu, according to Mel, Barris still has to die. That is true. And uh, this is where at least I hope Barris has a role in Kyburn. Oh, yeah. So, um, and, and again, that was vague, though. He knew he, he's going to die, but was it old age? Was right. it early? It implied it was earlier than it he thought. It did. So I think we we will have to still see obviously. Some She's moms. been pretty literal, yes, with the things she says. So I, think I feel so. like it's yeah, <clears throat> yeah. So we're I mean we're, we're this is not over. We're we're going to lose more people. Um, the question is who leaves Winterfell to go south, right? Right. You, you know anybody that leaves is in danger, and you know there Sans I can't see her leaving Winterfell, and Brands not leaving Winterfell. I can't see it happening. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um. Let's see. A lot of bodies. God damn. Yeah, exactly. They got a lot of burnings to do. Well, now they don't. I mean, they got to burn them. They just know you can't bury that many people. Mm-mm. They're not going to go back to it now. Uh, dragons are still there. They can That's right. fly over and take care of them. That's all. right. And now they got to rebuild a lot of Winterfield. It got burned out. Not bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, but, no. But, no. but Syrian did come in there and do some damage. Hell for yeah. For sure. In some parts of it. So a small portion got 
fucked up pretty bad. Yeah, that's right. The rest of it's just a lot of damn bodies. And Had he not, though, it would have made it pretty good. Yeah, actually pretty, pretty the, decent. The doors were knocked off the hinges, you know, but damn. That ain't the first time that's happened. Right. Um, Jason Weeks, Warden of the North, thank you for the super chat. The Cat's Paw Dagger, amazing effects. It looked abs- outstanding. Yep. It was probably by far the best visual episode we've ever seen, no doubt. It was. Um, I mean, because we've never seen the dragons fight. We've never seen uh, a dragon battle over in, in the clouds and yeah. going up to the moon like E.T. <laughs> with the silhouettes. It was so perfect. And the Night King, and it was really uh, visually stunning and, uh, like I said, a little more lucid, more colorful. And I'm a colorblind motherfucker. I'm just telling you that now. But I can see it. That's right. <laughs> this time. Uh, he was... <laughs> uh, but honestly, <laughs> even whether you like this episode or not, Show this to some of your smart ass friends who've never seen an episode, and they'll like this episode as a standalone movie. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's true. That was because you, you said a lot of times you're like, "This is like World War Z." Yes, I mean, really, it that's World War like Z. a movie. Like, there was right a wave there, of zombies. Like it was yeah. a wave of whites this time. They didn't do the whole like just. I mean, they did some of it, but they were on top of each other immediate, like a wave. Uh, kind of when thought they, they'd have better defenses for the actual wall of the castle itself. Yeah, I mean, they had, the dra- single arrows they had the dragon glass down. things down on the, the cow trucks. Now, I like and that. And they had them on the walls, but, I mean, they didn't really get used much. No, they didn't run into them as they much. They didn't. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they still overwhelmed it. Um, Monkey Mail Dog, Davos made it. Yes, Davos did make it, apparently. Uh, so we're good with Davos so far. But, again, he's going to, uh, they're going to go south. I don't know if Davos will. Maybe not, but I think he probably will. We'll see what uh, Cersei has in the store. I mean, how can you, how like it, to me? Let me just say this to me. Uh, by the way, thank you, about guys, for uh, seventy nine thousand six hundred subscribers. I, I, I see him rolling in. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, so hit that like button and subscribe really quick if you don't mind. Um, but I, I gotta say, like after this fight, Cersei should be easy. I mean, oh, fighting shit, other living yeah. people should be nothing to these people. I mean, they still have two dragons now. Cersei should be easy. Like, it should be like, this is, well, I can do this in 10 minutes. Danny alone or John alone on, on a dragon. Right. So, uh, it's more, I guess we're going to finish up the political game, is what I'm saying. I would send a raven. <laughs> yeah. I would send I, a raven and say, this is your last motherfucking chance. I'm unleashing hell on you. And he, you didn't and send an army, might. and you know what the fuck we just went through? That's right. Here? They might, actually, because... You're getting double barrel. They think she's still pregnant. So, yeah, they might do that. And, like, give her fair warning one more shot. To yeah. Get, to go to Castle Rock or something. Thanks for sending them. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, let's see. Shits, uh, somnia? <laughs> Shits on Somnia? I'm sorry, I'm... Completely schizo. 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 I'm yeah. sorry. I, it's all gray to me. I'm schizo. colorblind. Schizosomnia. The episode was awful. Any movie with castle battles ever learned to plan a war. Uh, dragons first to light up the night. Catapults n- uh, not up front um, and continuously firing. Archers shooting fire arrows continuously. Yeah, we. I did mention you some said, of that. You said. You said dragons should have went first. Why aren't they? Keep, why you don't see the 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 rains of arrows, exactly. fire arrows coming down. Yep. So, yeah, I, I agree. But the Dothraki charged out there for no reason. Yeah, they got and, a little excited or something. And then the archers can't lose their shit without killing their own people. That's that's what it was. They had to stop firing those balls because exactly. of that. They started firing them, and then they stopped because they were all out there watching them, you know, the lights go out. So I, I thought it was very odd as far as them charging first. That was really weird. Uh, greetings, Mike Riley. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see here. Um... Let's see, was uh, it this one? Uh, Yvonne, I think, let me, let me check this one up here. Uh, yes. Uh, Yvonne, thank you for the super chat as well. Do you uh, think we'll ever get an explanation of Night King's purpose, if not the show, hopefully the books? Well, that's what we were just saying. Um, I think it's a possibility we get a conversation to, uh, next week, uh, and that's the only thing I can hope for. I would bet on it. Because I think they uh, they left us short there with info. And Brandon didn't have time to say it all right there at the tree. I no. thought he might tell Theon something or whatever. He didn't do much but sit there. So uh, I hope they still give us at least a couple answers. That's all we need. You know what I mean? I'm fine with Arya killing him. I'm, I'm fine with uh, you know him being the bait and he's still trying to just get revenge. But we got to have a couple answers about who he is and why now versus any other time in history. <laughs> you know, I guess uh, maybe the dragons 
But there's always been dragons, you know. Like yeah. he waited this this 150 years or wasn't dragons. That was it. Yeah. Other than Since, that, I gotta tell you what I told Chris. Since we know Brand can see the future a little bit because he knew Jamie was coming, he knew where to be when people were coming outdoors. Like he's obviously so got some kind of green knows sight. He can see the future a little bit. So I told Chris, I said, I'm about to piss you off, man, because everybody was done. I said, Brand has gone into the future and saw <laughs> that they can't win this battle. And he's going to come out of that long warg, and we'll be back at the beginning, and he'll have everybody retreat or something. Oh, that, that's what I was thinking. Yes. You know that that that's what happened because yeah, everybody I expect, was dying. I expected it him to die. Unwinnable. Uh, when you said that, I expected Brand to like. I thought he was going to tell Theon, "You have to stab me or some shit." I did too. You know, or something. I really like while he he's going into warg him. mode. When I do this, stab me. But yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, didn't didn't happen. Um, so yeah, Yvonne, hopefully we'll get some answers next week. Um, Daddy Licious, do you think the Night King could return? Nope. Uh, no way. There's no, no more children magic. No, no, you know, unless somebody knows the exact magic and spell with dragon glass, that's all, that's all over. There is no more supernatural Night King and threat from the North. That's it. Uh, don't think he's coming back. Unless, you know, there's some weird thing like you mentioned with Tyburn. Uh, in King's Landing doing some crazy shit, but I don't think he knows in that kind of magic. That's children magic. John um, John Payne, I was saying Bran can um, see in the future a little bit because he knew where to be wheeled. He knew where pe- which door people would be coming out of. I, I know he saw Jamie was on his way, so that's, you know, but I'm just saying, I, I think he can see in the future a little bit. Yeah, there's, you have there's to some, be able to. There is definitely a question whether he's got like some kind of green sight to, to an extent. Has to, to yeah, I mean, there's no explanation for it, yeah. but there's some things. It's like he, like I mean, he when he gave Arya the dagger, we all said that on the live stream that night. You know, sure as hell, he gave the dagger and knew he was like thinking there's something. Like he knew something. I don't need it. It's wasted on a cripple, but he didn't tell her. Yeah. So did he know then? It's questionable. I don't know. I, I think he knew something. Yeah. Um. But generally, green, you know, three-eyed ravens, green dreams are a separate thing, like Jojen had, like flashes. Yeah. So he's got maybe he's got to see something. It seems to be. Um. Uh, Kate Parker, thank you, Kate, for the super chat. Do you think they left out details to protect the upcoming book? No, I, this is the thing, Kate. Uh, 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 I don't think so. Um, I mean, certain details will obviously be different because we have more characters and houses and all that stuff in the in the books. But they have said that they gave away. He gave him his ending, uh, and there's and he just said an interview last week or or no week before mm-hmm. was it. Uh, that uh, I don't think Dan and Dave's is going to be much different from mine other than some, some minor details of different houses and characters. That's right. So this is the story. Now, again, is it is it done? We can still get answers through Bran without having to get... Because you don't have to get the answers while the Night King's alive. Right. You can get some uh, exposition or whatever, uh, a conversation, um, and get a few answers about why and who and all that stuff. So I don't think they would do it to... For the books, because he agreed, look, look, he got truckloads of money to sell them this story, not a different story with a different ending. So they've already confirmed all that that they got the ending. So uh, I think book readers, uh, like I've been saying, they're going to see the similar stuff when the books come out for sure. Um, I, I agree. Christina Poole, thank you, Christina, for the super chat. Great job, guys. I'm so conflicted about this episode. What's the purpose of all the focus on RLJ and the prince that was promised? Now, exactly. Uh, now I will say this, Christina. I've always said. The RLJ, I mean not RLJ, but the prince that was promised and Azor Ahai is not about one person. I've said that, it's, it could, but that's why he gives you hints where everybody fits it. Danny fits it, literally. John fits it metaphorically. Davos fits it in a way. Stannis, fit, it, everybody fits it in some way about uh, waking dragons from stone and all this other stuff. Yeah. You know, born, reborn amidst salt and smoke. Um, so I've always said that. So again, I don't have a problem with like it not being John to actually kill him. But something about John to me about the ice and fire blood was what I was saying. Like something involving his blood and his magical ability. Right. Here's the thing. But that timeline not. of John's birth adds up to what motivated him. I think. Right. Or Bran. Now, uh, Bran's fairly recent in in history too. You know, a few years later than John uh, being born. So. I don't know. Hopefully, again, we'll get some uh, get a conversation around the fire next week as they all mend their wounds, <laughs> you yeah. know, and uh, eat a bowl of stew <laughs> and sit down and relax. Uh, let me check here. Um, I he, know there were a couple. He needed 
John for the dragon. We know that. Yeah, yeah. It's but like, damn it. I guess he's just another... The whole uh, story about John just to get him a dragon? I just don't buy it. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's odd. Um, let's see here. Let me check Streamlabs. I'm... Uh, D Brown, thank you, D Brown. Appreciate it. Uh, thank this you, was D. just uh, four minutes ago. Uh, this is worse than the damn no call. Who dat? <laughs> You're talking about the Saints <laughs> getting screwed up. Thank you, D Brown, so much. Um, yeah, I mean, again, let's. I'm gonna try to remain open. Yeah, yeah. Until next week or whatever, because again, I, I didn't. When you first watch, you're like, really? That's it, you know? And then you start thinking about it. I think they can have a conversation next week and, and give us a of couple course. answers. So I'm holding out hope we get that. But thank you so much, D. And I think they got us all here, guys. They got us all here. They're going to do the right thing. I, I hope. I hope. Um, but we did worry about this type of thing where they don't ever finish the story. Let me see. I think that was all the uh, Streamlabs. I want to make that. Yeah, because I'm back an hour ago now uh, and don't see anything. Yeah. All right, hold on one second, guys. I apologize. You I'm think they get to... death threats? Um, I'm I'm sure anybody in public life does. It's just stupid. Um, all right, so I think that's I think that was the only Streamlab thingy. I think. Uh, let me, mods. Let me know if I missed another one, please. Uh, let's see regular chat. Let's see what we got going on. Um, uh, Steph Snow, we have no Dothraki and very few Unsullied. How do we kill Cersei? Uh, it's a good question. Um, I, I don't. Or dragons. Shit. Yeah, we got dragons, uh, but you got to be careful with, you know, scorpion bolts and shit. But you would think they could just simply go out and take out Cersei with dragons. But they don't want to kill everybody, and Cersei is pregnant still, maybe possibly, and uh, they know that, so they want to protect that child. And Tyrion's going to bring that up, I'm sure. Yep. So there's going to be some strategizing. They're going to give her one more chance. I'm telling you, they're going to reach out to her, like you said, send a raven. Yep. Whatever, look, just go to Castle Rock and shut the hell up and raise your kid. Yeah. We won. That's right. So no. there, I think there will be. Um, um, Michelle, you're saying you just want to read the book more? Uh, yeah, I'm just saying, just I'm telling you, I, I just know they, they got a lot more information than we book readers believe. I'm telling you, there's not going to be, obviously, a lot of de differences in detail because a lot more people. But this is going to be the similar ending. Ending. Ooh. You said Jorah was the connection for the Golden Company? Uh, yeah, well, it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I think I, I was just saying he, he was used to be a member, so it so would, be, it would be, fit. Yeah. yeah, it would fit. So it, Maybe that's Varys' role, like we mentioned, too. Hopefully. There you go. So Varys has something to do, you know, besides just sit there and pout in the crypts. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he can't do anything else. So I hope he still takes, takes care of something in King's Landing So uh, with the Golden Company. I'm hoping that's Varys' role. Um. Bleach Killer, thank you for the super chat. Arya killing the Night King was a bit unexpected and, and so awesome. I knew when the wind blew past the White Walker, she was going to get him. Yeah, I noticed that little thing. The White Walker kind of like this. Because she had been moving like a cat the whole time. He didn't make it, not making a sound with the whites. Yeah, right. Uh, and somebody had asked earlier, I saw in the chat, like how did Arya get to him? I mean, she just snuck up quiet because they do. I mean, they're still not like supernatural in the sense they can sense you there they have to hear you and see you sure yeah. so she simply snuck up and i somehow got a run and start and that was it now when he turned around and caught her i was like oh i know dude <laughs> he turned around i was like Kink. but then it she did undertaker the, she exactly i was thinking she's getting choke slammed oh my god mm. aria can't die and then uh the the brienne trick came in handy flipped to the hand in slow motion i didn't even think of that so that's where they, uh, that was the foreshadowing or little hint for the whole sure was. Uh, Night King death. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kyle Rivera. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, great battle scene. Not a great death scene for Night King. Both dragons are alive. Very dark and blurry. If Night King went down in one hour, Cersei got to die in five minutes. See, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Then any kind of regular war should feel like, like nothing. I mean, seriously. Uh, so I don't know. But again, Cersei has protection because she's pregnant, and they, or at least they think so, if she has indeed already lost his child. And and the those guys are exhausted now. Oh, Men, yeah. Mentally, yeah, they physically. Got to, yeah, they can't immediately just – they're going to – I mean, I'm sure some weeks will pass. It'll be a lot, something. yeah. And then it takes a long time to get that far south, unless you're riding a dragon. Again, that can happen in, in five minutes, but they can't just burn it up. 
Um, PR Sullivan, thank you for the super chat. I don't see a question. Uh, Jason Weeks, thank you for the super chat. Winterfell and Winterfell, they're probably saving the Night King story for the spinoff. Um, they could be. I mean, maybe there was some kind of deal, but I don't. I wouldn't think so. Um, I, I still don't buy that, actually. Right. I mean, I we may get more insight because this is supposed to lead up to the long night, but maybe they are. I mean, I don't. I'm not an insider. I don't really know. Um, we were just saying it doesn't make sense because when they when they sold them, when he sold this story to to HBO and Dan and Dave, and he told them the ending, he gave he, they, he answered the question about RLJ. Yeah. Uh, they did from him, and um, it wouldn't make sense to now split the story up. You know, let's take the important details to wrap it up narratively yeah. and move it over here to this prequel. And then you look stupid, you know what I mean? Because you didn't finish the show right. Yeah. So I don't, I don't, I still don't buy that. I don't know. We'll see what other details they have because there's a lot of things they can do in the prequel leading up to the Night King being created or the Long Night, right? And this probably really cool stuff we'd like to see. And go ahead and give us the answer of who he is and why now. Um, let's see, Cecily, thank you for the super chat. Uh, why didn't Night King just let Whites kill Bran? Um, yeah, I mean, he's got this personal thing. He's got to be dramatic. He always pauses before he kills somebody. We said that. Yep. I kind of said that in the preview video for this week and uh, during the last video I did, the preview. Like, the, the army comes, but they always dramatically pause. Yeah. And just wait and, like, let everybody, you know, take them in. Yeah. Like, they don't just charge. <laughs> they never do. I don't understand it. They give people time to, like, to, you know, get ready. I guess just to make it a fair fight. I don't know. <laughs> it's really yeah. odd. Uh, but yeah, some dramatic pause always, and they all just wait. Um, let's see, uh, Daniel Hardy, thank you for the super chat. Daniel, are you seriously disappointed? You are entitled. You are entitled and jaded. A true fan loves the show for what it is, not what they have preferred. Grow up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> really. I mean, seriously, a true fan uh, can question uh, their their uh, their shows or or books or any of that stuff you know what I mean I don't have to enjoy every single aspect of everything just because I love still love the show uh, still How my favorite show we ever done? we've liked this episode not like that episode like this episode uh, right. not like that episode <laughs> right come back a week later say you know we thought about the other one it, that's what we I do I mean think about this Daniel what we're talking about is you're, you, you've you built up this Night King character right from the get go I mean from the prologue of the books and the first episode of the show first scene of the show and then you didn't tell us who he is. Is that sound like a complete story to you? Now, again, I'm saying next week they could give us that information. I think that's so the way they're going to work. That's very it. possible, and we'll see. But right now, I don't know who he is. Is all I mean. That's right. So you can call it what you want. I mean, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I mean, it's, it's just what I, I. This is what I do. I talk about it and break shit down. I love some things. Don't like other things. The way it is. Yeah, uh, I'm not just. I mean, they don't pay me to blow smoke up their ass. Nope. Uh, Josh Friend, thank you for the super chat. Matt Edge, thank you for the super chat. I don't see questions there. Uh, Ethan Hunt, thank you, man, for the super thank chat you. as well. Hey, guys, long time no see. Yeah, it's been a while. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I miss being a regular, but had to pop in tonight for a few. Uh, awesome. Mixed feelings about this ending and direction, but we'll see. If Arya kills Cersei, she will have the three most uh, satisfying kills. Not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, see, Ethan, you're just jaded. You're just jaded and, yeah. and mad because yeah. no, I, I agree. I, I'm I'm still I'm still you know like I said I'll feel better next week. I think I think if we get some answers, but I still got to process a little bit and see what you know, see if there's stuff I missed. Um, but yeah, uh, welcome back, man. Uh, William Benia, thank you for the super chat. I'm pretty disappointed. The White Walkers were essentially filler. I'm really hoping that there's more to it in the books. Agree. Yes. Now, Agreed. well, it's so far. Yes, it seems so. Unless we get those answers we're talking about, yeah. for sure. JF, thank you for the super chat as well. Um, appreciate it. Don't see a question. Alicia Davis, thank you. I uh, think we'll never see Nymeria again since Winterfell's army was almost wiped out. They'll need help from someone. Well, now I'm starting to doubt the Nymeria thing, actually. After this episode, really? I don't see why... I mean, maybe they show up and at the other, you know, at next episode when they're kind of, like, recovering... But I don't see why now. You know what I mean? Maybe just to make Arya happy. I, I don't know. I see what you're saying because, yeah, they were, they, with Arya in that much trouble, yes. if there's a bond there, she comes running. She yeah. should. Like, but they're in the Riverlands, right? So I don't know if they, apparently they didn't follow him. Well, the last time. Yeah, the last time. Yeah. So we, yeah, we kind of expected them to come up and be involved in the battle. Right. So if they're not in the battle, I don't know if we have a, a point. 
for Nymeria to come back. So I, I don't know. I'm hoping, still hope we can see her again. Me too. But uh, th- that would be just purely fan service, and I'm fine with it. But I, I don't. Now I'm kind of doubting that we'll see him because Ghost just kind of ran, and then we don't even know what happened to Ghost. That was the fan service. Everybody's bitching so much, and they finally put him in there and didn't do anything. Uh, but I'm glad he did. And I just want you know, we said that last week. Do you really want to see him this week? That's right. Uh, but they didn't show his death, so we'll see. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, oh, damn. It, it dropped down here. Uh, it, it did again. Yeah, it dropped. I got to find my place again. Oh, it, it, my God. Yeah, we're so we're so behind. We're, oh, we're my God. Way, way behind. Um, everybody's uh, hyped about this episode. Uh, let's see here. Um, where was I? It. Okay. 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 <laughs> I can't find the. I can't find my place. I, I think I'm at the end every time. Um. Uh. No idea. Yeah. Might get to a point where we don't. We're not able to. Yeah. We I, might have to look at them and see if we've already answered that and. Yeah, okay, here we were. Yeah, here, yeah. Here, here we go. All right, I think we're I think we're back in the spots. Um, let's see, JF, thank you for the super chat. Don't see a question, um, uh, Alicia. That uh, Alicia, Alicia, I'm sorry, that was what your Nymeria question. Uh, Taint Tostada, thank you for the super <laughs> chat. <laughs> That's it's like, a great a, name. A little squirrel in the hat. Uh, thank you. I don't see a question, Jeff Lawson. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, they're buying the ending. Um, with CGI and short changing plot, how does it feel to spend so much time on a complex theory to end the Night King like Bruce Willis movies? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. We're all just wrong, apparently. I, I guess. Again, unless we have some kind of thing where there's some final thing to prevent it from ever happening again. So we can still see something, you know, with the whole yeah. magic thing. But that's not how you kill him. You just kill him with a Valyrian steel dagger. It's just that straightforward. So the whole time they could have went after him, snuck up on him, really got really close and stabbed him with Valyrian steel, and he's dead. So it does feel a little bit cheap, you know what I mean? Um, the Lady Eternal, thank you for the super chat. Of course, uh, from the uh, the one from the Night uh, Night's Watch Five that specifically said he doesn't didn't want to come back with blue eyes became a white. R.I.P. Dolores said, "Yes, he was always making the blue eye joke with John and." We we said last week that Gray Gray Worm made it right. Do we 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 get, yeah, Gray Worm made it. He made it. We were all wrong about Gray Worm. We said Ed and Gray Worm were first. It Ed was uh, first. We did see the blue eyes. I don't though. know that anybody guessed Gray Worm would live. I, I don't either. I don't think I think everybody assumed Gray Worm and Masande were, were gone. Uh, and uh, Brianna or Jamie actually. So uh, that's that's good. Um, X Cam, thank you for the super chat. I don't see a question there. Um, Let's see, uh, Bear, Jude and Bear, thank you for the super chat. One poke with Lyrian Steel and um, poof, no biggie. What the fuck, man? I think the bearded other will come around and what the fuck is John's purpose? Legit king, that's it. Yeah, I mean, apparently it's just about, I don't buy any second White Walkers or first, you know, I think that was just a representation of the elder with the beard or whatever, if that was a beard. Um, so that yeah, that's over. Uh, I think the John thing is about how he accepts who he is and him and Danny's relationship and him giving up the crown. I think that's uh, that story uh, didn't save the world. I mean, he did in a sense though. I mean, it's not about the. It's like I said, that's why I don't have a problem with Arya being the one to like do the strike and the kill and blow. Right. Because John was the one who united people and wildlings and the Targaryens and Starks and all. He's the one that did all that still. So you can't take that away. Right. Yeah. But there was no magical blood stuff, is what we're saying. That's right. So that, that all still stands. Um, uh, Bear, again, thank you for the super chat. Oh, yeah, totally dorned it. <laughs> kind of. I mean, we'll see. Again, we'll see if they have an explanation uh, next week, a conversation around the fire. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, Joshua Hit, uh, Hit Hall, Hittle, I believe. Thank you, Joshua. Uh, the Night King really got the Dorn treatment. <laughs> Everybody's using this. Somehow I feel like there's a twist. Uh, there's supposed to be a twist. There is another twist coming, and there was no twist in this show. So, so we are still got something coming. I think and, everybody feels that way. Yes, I, yeah. I agree. I think so. And we got to we got to get the other twist, and we still haven't got it. So I think that's why it gives me a little bit of hope. We can still get some information, just you know, now that he's dead. Full blast of dragon fire <laughs> doesn't right. phase him. I mean, just stands there smiling. So John would have got him on the battlefield. 
Yeah, he would have. He would have took him out. He, with if he this wouldn't, have, yeah, steel. he just turned around and walked off. Though he never cared about John. That was the big, uh, yeah, thing. I guess I don't know. Uh, Alex uh, did. Uh, thank you, Alex, for the super chat. Did Arya kill the Night King with Littlefinger's dagger? That was it. It yeah. was the Valyrian steel dagger. We uh, said that that would come back into play. Didn't know exactly how, but um, yeah, uh, that's how it worked. Um, let's see. Let's go to the regular chat for a second here. Um, Blake the Great, it was amazing. Uh, it was amazing to was, watch for sure. Was uh, Azora High Ghost here, boy? <laughs> yeah, so I think he's good to go since we didn't see him die. Uh, Kirk Myers, very disappointed in the payoff as the Walkers were looming force above the entire series, killed in pretty simple way, and then they all uh, die. I was not impressed by the writing. Well, I have no problem with them all falling once the Night King's killed. I think we knew that. But uh, yeah, I mean. And I, I, I gotta say, no, we ne we never had a problem with that. We knew yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. And I don't have a problem. The battle was, I mean, overwhelmingly they were lo losing. They were getting their ass stomped. Everybody was going to die. And that's when I turned to you about three quarters of the way through, or whatever it was, and said, "They have to finish this now. There's no way yeah. that they get out. Like each individual character that's gets right. out of their situations. They yeah. have to kill the Night King. So that's the problem. Is they they kill. And I don't have a problem with them killing the Night King. I have a problem with them not telling us who he was. But Again, they can still do it. They can still do it. It's just like you don't think about that when you first see it. It's like, oh, shit, it's over. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? It's like there's not going to ever have him, like, uh, die and, and turn back human for a second or something. You know what I mean? None of that's going to happen. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see how they – we'll see what they have in store. There is another third twist. I don't know what that can be now. Um, let's what see. What if he just respawns up north again? Uh, respawns. <laughs> I mean, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm yeah, not a video game. No, that's it. Respawn. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't guess you can. So, like that first time, they didn't really push him back. They killed him, and he just reappeared yeah, he just up respawns there. every thousand, every whatever. If he dies, he's, there's some spawn point up there. That's <laughs> like, crazy. At the tree, and he's like, "Fuck, I almost made it." Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So he's, I don't know. Maybe there is some magical loop going on. I have no idea. No, I think, uh, I think that's it. I think that's it for the uh, the Night King. Yeah, White Walkers. Okay, uh, yeah, so I know we got a ton of questions coming in. We'll try to get caught up here, but let's take we're gonna take a quick stretcher really quick. Um, I have to use the restroom really quick. Hit fast. the like button, guys, if you don't mind. Yeah, please do. And if you don't mind, if you're did. here new, uh, welcome. We're gonna keep going here for a little while. So if you don't mind subscribing, really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, give us let me get over here to this and I'm, and I'll try to check uh, Cool, eight hundred and twenty six likes. That's awesome. Uh very cool. Before thank you. First break. Uh thank you, Robin, for subscribing. Thank you, th uh th th Rob, th Rob <laughs> for subscribing. <laughs> I know the Rob. Uh Nathan White for subscribing, Gavin Potter, Beverly Crane, King Batman, Yassi. Uh, appreciate it. Um let's see. All right, so yeah, take let's uh, let's take a stretch really quick so I can use the restroom. I had the I have the nervous pisses the whole episode. Yeah, we both. I did, was man. like, that was crazy. On the edge, of my, I was tore up about it <laughs> the whole thing. So, all right, so yeah, uh, I know we'll, we'll take a very quick break. Uh, we we shouldn't be taking a break with all these people, but we got to. So give us a couple minutes, guys, and we will. We be. will be. <laughs> here, oh. we, here we go. We will be <laughs> right back. <laughs>
cannot give you back your homes or restore your dead to life, but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Alrighty, alrighty. We are back. We're back. Let's see here. Okay. Um, there's Raina Marie. Hello, Raina. There's Maddie Ben. Sorry, guys. I have not seen a lot of names yet. We've uh, been flying by here in the chat. Uh, let's Tell see. Tell us how you really feel. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing a lot of a uh, lot of people saying the same thing. Uh, let me just say this about the prophecy stuff really quick. I, we, we've always said, and I think a lot of people agreed as far as, you know, book readers especially because there is specific lines in there that say things like prophecy will bite you in the ass. Melisandre did say it in the show too. Uh, it's a tricky thing to Danny because the people, are, I think, are partially disappointed because it wasn't a, like an Azora High figure. wasn't like, you know, distinguished. Like it wasn't like plainly said, John is Azora High or yeah. Danny or whatever. And we've always said, or at least I maintain, that Azor High was never a literal person, like one person. It was always them working together, and they, that's why there's so many red herrings in the books about, uh, and show for that matter, about other people being Azor High, Jamie and Danny and John and Jora and whatever, whoever you want to pick. They all fit it in some way. Uh, Hot Pie, yeah, Sword Point, <laughs> Hot Pies could be Azor High. 
But yeah, so I mean, I don't have a problem at all with not being a special person. We the thing with John was just like uh, RLJ was just more of a drama about love and the and what he does next now that he knows how he reacts to it apparently. So remember, just keep in mind because I didn't think about this when I first what we first watched this. I was like, that's it. The Night King's done. We can still get information about him. Though you know what I mean, so next episode there's still hope. Yep. Hope that we get a a little something, you know, little explanation. Fill in the gaps. Uh, for because you don't have to be alive for us to find that out. You no. know, we never never said that. So we'll see. Um, Shining Violet Star, thank you for the super chat. Do you think Viserion will be revived again? No, nope. Uh, there's no more reviving stuff. That's all. That's all over. Uh, I think that was pretty much the end. I don't buy any more Night Kings or other White Walkers like waiting in the wings or something to come down. That's it. I think that's over. Again, there's still a third twist, so we still got to find out what, you know, hopefully that twist will be something, information about him, not Cersei. Yeah. There's nothing twisty about Cersei, you know, I don't think. Mm-hmm. Um, unless it's just some weird, crazy thing we just don't see coming, which it may very well be. Um, PR Sullivan, thank you for the super chat. Littlefinger will be resurrected as a new Night King. Book it, y'all. <laughs> I, I called Cersei earlier. Oh Lord, yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, no, no new Night Kings. Uh, there's no, no more children to, apparently in the show to do that. So I don't think they know the spell. Right back. Um, let's see, uh, Nilda, thank you for the super chat. Astrani, thank. I don't see a question. Appreciate it. Um, Nathan Graham, thank you for the super chat. Do you think Liana's giant spain is confirmed? Is Tormund her daddy? Uh, I don't know that that's confirmed or either way. I think there will always be a question. Uh, but I didn't even think about it earlier with Jorah and Liana dying that, um, I, you know, that's the end of House Mormont. Uh, so I guess, unless there's some cousins or whatever left. Um, let's see. Uh, Jay Soto, thank you for the super chat. Theon get buried in Winterfell crypts. Jamie lives. Yeah, I think uh, that's that's a good point, Jay Soto. Theon probably, John will probably have him put in the crypts as a Stark. That's a good idea. That's a great idea, actually. That's very very possible. Now that there's no you know deal with the uh, anybody being raised from the dead. Um. Let's see. Uh, let's. let's could you grab Riddick? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, while you're up. Um, BT, thank you for the super chat. Ghost is in the preview. Uh, oh, I didn't see it. See, I just kind of glanced at it really quick before we got on the live stream. Uh, 19 seconds, what do you think will be the explanation of where the fuck he was the whole time? I, I don't know. It's like um, maybe he killed a few whites and ran back with Jorah and followed the horse, so we didn't see him, though. So it's, it's a fair question. I was like, why are you charging? <laughs> you know? Um, it didn't make any sense for him to go charging out and and because you know more than likely he should be dead, but guess he's not and and that's fine. Um, Francisco, thank you for the super chat. I'm not disappointed as much because I expected it. The show is called Game of Thrones after all. Not mad there wasn't a one v one between John and Night King. There almost was. Yes, <laughs> and I'm not mad about that either. As as far as John being the doing doing the deed, like actually doing the deed, uh, it, it it feels like it takes away. But if you think about it, again, if you think about it a little deeper, John did set all this up with the with the you know unifying everybody in the north and you know bending the knee to Danny and making them you know in the wildlings and all that oh, stuff. So yeah. he set all that up. So he didn't have to be the one to do the killing blow. Our thing was just the magic behind his blood. It, why? There's no, there's no magic behind his blood. Well, there's no like he's not gonna like you know bleed on a weirwood tree and burn it and whatever and the night king falls over. It's just, I I don't know. We expected a more magical thing yeah. to happen. Yeah, like maybe make a shadow baby something. Yeah, we I even mentioned the Melisandre thing um, happening to you know that would be a, a betrayal at the same time. Yeah, there's all kinds of cool stuff they could have done. But uh, yeah, again, I'm fine with the death itself. I'm just, uh, I just, as long as we get some kind of explanation, which we still can, we do have three episodes left. So, um, uh, let's see. Uh, Luz Clarita, thank you for the super chat. Did none of the other White Walkers see Arya? No, I guess the whole cat walk. <laughs> she's uh, she's silent as a cat, you know. And that was way back in book one when she's uh, in sh- the show when she's chasing cats. Learning to become silent and walking on her feet, or you know, walking quietly, yeah, yeah. And quick, and all that. 
So yeah, I buy that honestly. Yeah, they kind of gave I, you the idea for that once you saw it in the library when she was creeping and jumping under tables and shit without making noise. <laughs> Let's see, Dragon Wolf. Thank you, Dragon Wolf. Uh, Ari is a badass and deserves to be the one, and it was awesome. Love the episode, but hate to lose people. But was done well. What's your thoughts on how the relationship between Sansa and Danny play out? I think they will completely bond now. I really do. Yeah, me too. Um, I think Sansa, they will bond a little more. She's seen her actions. She was out there fighting like a warrior. Uh, she'll respect her. Um, and then Danny will decide at some point, probably in John too, uh, to give her the North. That's what we're going to see the next couple of episodes and how they change things. So I think they will be on the same page now. I don't think there's going to be, you know, she may question it for another episode or so as far as like being the queen of everything, but that's going to change. What do you think about Masande saying that? All right. Um, she walked away, you know. Yeah. So I just, I wonder if that's what uh, Grey Worm said to her about after this is over. I wonder if. No she's, place for us here. She's fed up. He's fed up. And they just Yeah, jet. a little bit. Uh, I mean, I think, um, like I said before, I think this was for Sansa to hear that and say, yeah, I'm kind of being, I'm kind of still pretending we're on two different teams. We're really not. Yeah, and Masande's going, these are ungrateful fuckers. Y exactly. You know, yeah, exactly. and he's like, dude. <laughs> Excuse me. I just, you know, basically almost sacrificed myself and all of my dudes. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. Fuck the throne. Right. So we yeah, we'll see what they do. We'll see if they ever make it to Noth. Because now he's got to go take the the throne. I mean, e even when they decide to change things, they still have to get Cersei out of there. So there's still going to be more death. Yeah. yeah this is not over <laughs> so by any means. Um. Let's see, Melody. Thank you for the super chat. I get the disappointment from all the build up, but I think the point is that Cersei is far more dangerous to the realm than Night King is. Um. Yeah, I mean, I can see a little bit like that feudalism is, but the Night King was almost the manifestation of death that they've all created from it. So that's why you expected him to play the the end game role as far as the final villain. You know, like you you're about to reap what you've sown with all this feudalism bullshit. Yeah. So maybe that's exactly the point. Is now they all realize Danny does specifically. Yeah, we want to break the wheel. I'm part of that wheel too. So that will be the focus. I think. Yeah. I just thought with with the whole series starting, you know, with with the White Walkers, yeah, you know, uh, the, the whites, the looming thing I, in the background that nobody believed in. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was going to be it. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see, uh, artsy girl. He was focused on brand. Yeah, I, I thought that was odd that they just gave that away and that was it. But I mean, I think he would have continued. You know, if he wouldn't have died, he would have continued down through Westeros. Um. Let's see. Uh, Maddie Benz, Ari is Jerm's uh, wifey's favorite. She was going to do something huge. That is true. You know, we thought she would live for that. But uh, yeah, I mean, we and, and that's the thing. The blue eyes comment. You know, that was that was mentioned when it happened. You know, as far as like blue eyes. Oh, does that mean she's going to kill the Night King? So we people have thought about it. Uh, I just don't think they. I think people were so focused on the Azora High. It's got to be John. You know, type of thing or or Danny or whatever. Um, anyway, uh, let's see here. Um, uh, I just saw um, Bell Boots uh, has a question here in the regular chat. Varys has not had a line with more than five words all season. What do you, uh, what do Chris and James think he is going to uh, contribute with Kyburn? Uh, thank you, uh, Bell. I've been saying that I want uh, Varys to. In the books, he does something to prepare for uh, Aegon coming over. Not Danny quite yet. She's still over in Essos, and she takes care of a certain character in King's Landing. That can't be happen. That can't happen on the show now, but he can still do something like that. So I think the idea is Varys is to get the Golden Company on the Targaryen side, uh, Targaryen Stark side. I think that's his role. Um, hopefully, because yes, he's right now. He's just kind of you kind of expect him to die almost if he doesn't do something. Yeah. So this episode uh, kind of shows me, at least, that he if he didn't die, you know, and of course he was in the crypts, but, you know, we had a few monsters come out of the crypts as well, um, that he still has a little thing left to do, and I hope that uh, kind of jives with that. Uh, let's see here. Um, do you know if uh, RX-7 dude's question got answered? RX-7? 
I, I, I remember seeing an RX. There oh is. no, I'm right. I'm right here. I'm at it. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah. So RX seven, uh, dude. Thank you for the super chat. Just wanted to point out, brand cannot see the future. Only speculate on it from what he knows of the past and present. Well, right. That's what I've always said, but it just makes you question, at least in the show, the way he seems to oddly know things, but it's not like specifics. You know what I mean? Like you mentioned. Like, I don't know if the, it was just the way they shot it, but he, he I don't know if he was just waiting on people last episode. But when he handed, like, the dagger to Arya, we always, like, he, the look on his face is odd. It's not like he's just giving her a knife. So it's like he almost knew something was special about it, but maybe not details. Yeah. I don't know. But there, he's not supposed to be able to see the future. That's with uh, Otherwise, they can tell you exactly everything what's going to happen. Um, but we know they can affect the past. Uh, let's see. The Lady uh, Eternal, thank you for the super chat. The Winter Soldier has a better murder strut than the Night King. <laughs> murder strut. <laughs> uh, I don't even... Shit, I'm trying to remember the, <laughs> the Winter Soldier. Um, yeah, I like the Night King this episode, though. I mean, they really had him... Like, you saw the smir smirk on his face, clearly. Um, didn't say yes. a word, which is great. I'm glad he didn't talk. We talked about that before. And uh, looked a lot more crisp and clear this time when it wasn't too dark. <laughs> Not on the dragon, I just mean like other scenes. Uh, let's see, Alicia, thank you for the super chat. Alicia Davis, I saw this end game today. I'm still shaking. Yeah, saw end game uh, uh, Friday. Did yeah. you watch it Friday? Um, so we may talk about that Tuesday on the podcast. I'm not sure. Or Game of Thrones or both. We, right. may, we may do that. I don't know. Um, as far as uh, kind of going through Endgame. A lot of stuff I loved about it. A lot of stuff I was like, eh, could have done better. But I'll, overall, I thought it was okay. I thought it was pretty good. Once you think about it, it's almost like you have to process that a minute too before you start like, oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? There's just so much going on. So much. Uh, Jay Soto, I thought I heard a Red Hot Chili Pepper song. Yeah, I, I wasn't paying attention this time, Jay Soto, so I don't know. Somebody else mentioned a remix of something I earlier. I think, I, honestly, the only score, like you said, I remember was when it got sad. Yeah, I wrote that down, sad score. Like, hope. I wrote hopeless score. Yeah, it's what, what I wrote it felt down. like. Um, Tyler Nicholas, thank you for the super chat. Can you see Arya using her many face god powers uh, to also put an end to Cersei? Um, you know what? That's a good question now because it's like, is she going to kill both? So I still, uh, now that Jamie survived, it can still be Jamie. Right. Um, hopefully. That's just what I prefer. I don't want Arya to do everything. So now I don't want, I mean, I would have been fine with him before we talked about like the face or something. Yeah. But Jamie's alive and assuming he's not injured so bad, he dies. Assuming Braun doesn't come up there and kill one of them. Oh, yeah, Braun didn't. Yeah, I was thinking, would Braun show up? He didn't show up either. Didn't even think about Braun. We thought he's going to come up there, you know, see what they're really dealing with and not even care what Cersei said, but now that's over. Yeah, so now they're going to make us question. I still don't think he would do it, but... I, I don't I, think he would either. I don't know. Now they're going to make us question that for another episode or two or whatever it may be. Um, let's see, but uh, yeah, I mean, you could have certainly Arya using somebody's face or whatever to get into the Red Key, but I hope she's not the one that kills her too. I mean, that, I that's a little overkill there, literally <laughs> a little overkill. I hope Sansa does it. Yeah, that would be great. That would be great for Sansa to stab her right in the face. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, the younger, more beautiful queen. Uh, let's see. Um, Austin Klein. Thank you, Austin. Big fan, guys. Great work. I wonder what Bran was doing the whole time while he was warging during the battle. Maybe that will come back and explain something. That is true. Um, I'm hoping that kind of triggers that little conversation. Because, I mean, he was in the Ravens just for a minute. And then the Night King did his little magic. Ooh. <laughs> and and that, that was it. What was he doing the whole time while Theon was fighting for him? <laughs> Like, you know, yeah, bring in some birds or something, some wolves, warg, so warg stupid, something. Please. Do something to help. Some you know? squirrels. But no, no uh, no Night King battle in a vision, none of that stuff. I mean, it's nothing. So, I, I, I mean, uh, again, we're all guilty of overthinking it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, really. Um, we painted some pretty damn serious pictures. Yeah. Uh, Jay from State Farm, thank you. Uh, Night King almost uh, almost pulled a Luke Skywalker d a dust brush off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. He was kind of like <laughs> for a while, he pretty much was. Uh, All Spy, thank you for the super chat. What the hell was Beric's purpose? Uh, to protect Arya. Uh, apparently. 
because he kind of held. Yeah. And and the hound in a way too, I guess, yeah. more Arya because she was the one that dealt, dealt the blow. Well, what he did is he, it is Arya. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, ultimately, but right, right. he got the hound out of that corner to save Arya. Right. And, and then he personally saved her. And then he personally blocked them off yep. and got the took the he took the stab wounds, you know, for her. So uh and Melisandre kinda of told us the answer. That was his purpose. Now he's it's over. But so, did you see the No Kiss of Life either. either. No Kiss of Life. Yeah, you said that. That's right. So uh, well, they didn't happened. they just yeah. left him in the show, no book it no book things going on there with at all. But it was cool to see the hell run out of that corner. Yeah, he as was soon all, as he saw her. As soon as he saw her, took off. Like he's back in the fight. Yeah, that, fuck fuck the fire. You know what I mean? Those that, relationships so. are so real. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, that was Beric's purpose. Uh, Braddy, uh, thank you for the super chat. How did Ari even get to the Night King? Snuck up like a cat, and that was it. I mean, use that skill and quiet because they literally still have to see you and hear you because they are. Yeah. It's not like they can sense you, type thing. Uh, which is why she was able to sneak around the library. Yeah, remember how badass Jack it was. Right. Uh, Randall P., thank you for the super chat. Mel to use the God of Death uh, line like Sierra Pharrell. Is there a connection between them, or how else did Mel know to say that? Well, she sees things. She knows, like almost like a brand figure. So she knows that she went through all that when she saw her the first time. Uh, so she had already known that she went through this stuff and seen things in their flames or whatever. So that's why she already knew the blue eyes and brown eyes and whatever, specifically the blue eyes apparently. So that's where they tie that up. She has seen uh, glimpses of her training, I suppose. Uh, just the way I'm taking it. Uh, thank you, Gabriel, for the super chat. I don't see a question there. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Stephanie. Uh, in Castle Black, when Mel first uh, took her glamour off, do you think she was hoping to take her own life, knowing what's supposed to happen and when it's removed? Um, I think, yeah. I think in a sense, yeah, she had lost her faith at that point because yep. she thought Stannis was Zora High. Yep. And then uh, Burn Shireen was going to save the world, and then she left going back to Castle Black knowing Stannis was going to lose because everybody ran off. So she lost her faith. Uh, and then she kind of regained it a little bit, and then she kind of got clear. She got clarity on the whole Lord of Light thing. So I think it was a good arc for her, actually. And she was ready to, to be... She was ready to die. Um... That's another thing. I mean, she was born a slave and put in this religion, and she's been a, a slave to it ever since. And so she was ready to um, to be done. Uh, let's see. Um, Dave, Night King was a Targ, same like his buddy Craster. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if they give us those answers, if that's the third twist about who he was, Stark, Targ, both, whatever, um, if there's any special about the blood or, or whatever. Um, that's the things we're talking about that – and I guess we all just assumed it needed to be answered before he was dead. Because we assume that, like, Bran needs to go in and tell him what to do. But if yeah. he does that, now if you think about it, if he really does that, there's no surprises for us, you know? So now he can go back and say, oh, by the way, right. uh, just went and checked and seen, because I was curious, or Bran, yeah. or maybe Sam uses those damn books, um, about who he was and why he came back now and shit. And, oh, yeah, he was... Uh, he was Brandon of the Bloody Blade of House Stark or some shit. I yeah. don't know. Uh, maybe we'll get that. Um, let's see. Eric Newcomer, do you think Varys will burn uh, and how? Uh, I'm never, I don't know about burning, um, but uh, I, well, I've thought about it because of the whole flaming thing. And that's another thing. Will we hear what Varys heard? Yeah. And me and you had mentioned that before. And I never did that whole separate video. I mean, I did a video on what he heard in the flames years ago. Yeah. But about how that set off this entire thing to get dragons back to Westeros. When you or start Danny to back. think about it, yeah, yeah, it's the it's really the the moment that set off um, Danny becoming a powerful Targaryen and hatching dragons and all that. Essentially, he thought it was Viserys, you know, right. in the show. Now it's a Blackfire, obviously Aegon in the books. But uh, that may still be important. We'll see if we get an answer on the whole sorcerer thing. Uh, Dragon Wolf, Bran was seeing it all happen in front of his eyes and awoke at the right moment to see the Night King's death. I guess so. I don't know why. I guess he was just seeing everything and whatever at one time. I yeah. don't really know, though. We, we didn't. Maybe he'll, again, I think next episode we'll have time to sit down and, like, you know, take a breath and let them have a conversation about what to do next and what they just went through. You know what I mean? Um, as far as the, the Night King and winning that war. Liz Perez, thank you, Liz. Game of Thrones forever. Will never be another show like it. Nope. This is uh, very sad this year, bittersweet. I'm glad to get 
the end and see what happens. Um, but it'll never be the same without I, it. I know I said this um, last season, uh, the final episode, but wouldn't you like to see this one on the big screen? Yeah, yeah. Some of those shots. Yeah, yeah, it would be awesome. I said that would. Uh, they'll probably would make do a that great, once this is all over. Great poster. Out of yeah, that they'll wood. probably do that. They'll probably put them in theaters or something. I've heard they were doing that, trying that before, but we'll see. That would be an awesome, yeah. I mean, this could be almost a standalone movie. Um, yeah. This episode. Um, let's see, Gabrielle. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. What does Danny's vision of King's Landing mean now that this sort of the Night King is dead? Well, I mean, we I said this before in super in in, in um, live streams. It doesn't have to be a literal thing where uh, because the sun's shining and, and you know that you don't know how they filmed that back in season what two or three or whatever it was. Um, so now it seems to it, to me it was just more of dragons back in Westeros because that was before Danny came over, right? I think. But uh, now, I mean, obviously it's not the Night King. If it does mean a specific person, obviously it's Danny or John. Yeah. If it actually means a specific person as opposed to just dragons back in the world. So uh, we'll see. I know we'll see if we get more Mad King stuff to burn them all. As far as the twist about did Bran influence the Mad King or Blood Raven or something like that, burn them all, having a different meaning with the White Walkers or whatever. There's still some hope we get some of that stuff. Uh, D. Wally, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Uh, Bran gave Arya that dagger for a reason. Remember when that happened... Uh, we were like, what the fuck, why didn't he give it to her? That was weird. Do you think he knew the whole time? I don't think he knew clearly because, I mean, if he did, it was, he's just an asshole for not telling anybody. But then again, do you tell somebody? Or does it just happen like it's supposed to happen? You know what I mean? Or is it ruining it if you tell somebody? Right. And so, uh, supposedly, though, he can't see the future. But I don't, I don't know. Some things are very odd, like we're saying. That, and one of those scenes was very, that was where we mentioned that. Like uh, he he had this look on his face, like yeah. But we all thought that man was going to have to. She was going to stab her or him with it, like you know, Brand connected to the Night King in the in the plane in the in the Weirwood.net thing. That's where those uh, those ideas came from. Uh, Gavin, thank you, Gavin. What's Bron doing next episode? Um, I'd imagine he's not going to kill Jamie or Tyrion. I can't see Bron doing that now. Um, so probably just going to. Think about it, and then uh, join them uh, in the war for against Cersei to get his damn castle. I, I don't think he'll actually go through with it. Uh, Yvonne, thank you, Yvonne. Pouring one out for Wherewood.net hashtag or slash Proto Stark. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. I mean, hey, look, there's still some twist. Maybe there is a twist left. We'll see. Um, there's just too much stuff in the books. I'm telling you, there's too many things. Um, uh, you know, and then going back looking at LML's videos where he agrees with the the whole burning of the werewolf stuff, and you know he has a lot of excellent points too about symbolism. There's just too much stuff for that stuff not to mean anything. You know what I mean? Unless it's a total like throw them off the trail thing. I, I, I don't know. There's we'll see what happens. Maybe there still is uh, some information to be gained, or to prevent it from happening again. Yeah, or something like that with magic. I think uh, <laughs> getting some. Maybe some more super chats got skipped. Um, getting some heads up there, and maybe Streamlabs too. This is hard. Yeah, I, I'm not. So I'm going hard, down the list guys. directly, so I'm not. I don't. I can check again. Uh, let me definitely check. Um, like a D Wally and a Jedi Buffin. Uh, I think I just did D Wally. D Wally. Yeah, just did D Wally's. Okay. Uh, just that. That was the brand of uh, dagger for a okay. reason. Uh, Jedi Muffin, I don't remember. Was that before or after? Because I'm, I was literally going down and one after the other. So I just did the yeah. D Wally. Sometimes guys, this thing will jump to the bottom, and he's got to go back. Yeah, up, and you got to go back and find and your spot. It's tough. Um, I, I do see Cat Lover uh, with the Streamlabs donation. Thank you. Uh, okay, after the show, Dan and Dave said they knew for three years it had to be Arya. It had to be Valyrian still in the exact spot. The children of Forest with the drag. Okay, so I have not seen this yet. I've not seen the like the after the show thing. So right. interesting. I'm I'm interested to see what they say about it and how they if they point out any like uh, specific foreshadowing other than the blue eye stuff. Um, interesting. Very yeah, cool. we'll watch that after this show for sure. Um, let's see. Uh, th I'm trying to catch up everything here. I don't think. I, oh wait a minute. Wait 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 wait. Who we got? Uh, 
Let's see. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, see, this was not here before. These are not this. <laughs> this D Brown before two hours ago. D Brown. Thank you, D. I never yeah, that's saw what that I said earlier. Yeah. Um, th I just saw that one. Uh, thank you. It says I can't. I fucking can't. <laughs> So yeah, I think um, I think Dee had said earlier. She thank you so much, Dee. Appreciate that uh, that she didn't agree with uh, not getting the Night King answers. That's what she's saying, I believe. Um, Anonymous, thank you for the Streamlabs. These were not there before. What is going on? I apologize, guys. Trying to trying to keep up. Um, love you guys. Germ has always written against tropes. Do you think maybe that's why the White Walkers end up not being the final villain? Big Zombie Army not the final battle. Uh, that's certainly a possibility. Yeah, I mean he's not. But it's always it's not always that he avoids them. He just doesn't overuse them. So, um, yeah, I mean, so, again, I'm fine with the order as long as we just get the answer. You, get, you can't just have them built up so big for that long and that many books and then them just, like, be like a, like somebody said earlier, filler. Yeah, they were filler. Yeah, I mean, essentially, unless what, we find yeah, out why or who. What, what good is Craster and all that story if, Right. Uh, if we don't, just to let us know that they help him build his army by killing the wood when he went north of the wall. Right. Are we going to be left to just speculate forever on how that works? Right. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, hopefully we'll get some kind of answers. Um, let's see. Jacob, uh, Jake Holm, I thank you for the Streamlabs donation. Love you guys. Watching for years. Jeremy's has always been against tropes. Oh, this is almost the same question. Do you think uh, that's why White Walker's in the final bill and, and, uh, and why the obvious hero isn't Jon Snow in this case? I do agree with that, for sure. I mean, I, and I do agree with the um, with the Jon thing being multiple people and not just one specific Azor High character. You know what I mean? But that still doesn't answer a lot of things is what we're all kind of complaining about, I think. Um, let's see. I think... See that? See how it jumps from to seven days? It's just insane. It is crazy. Look, and then there's been so many. They're just gone. I apologize, guys. This is not refreshing correctly. This is just jumping all over the place. So hopefully that's all of those. Um, I don't want to miss anybody's. Yeah. All right, let's get in the regular chat for a minute. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to jump back and forth to keep up here. Um, Angel Eyes. Get you a screen. <laughs> I could do one of these tabs. You do wood or something? Yeah, about, yeah. I mean, cool. yeah. Um, if you, or you could grab some from regular chat there and then uh, read them or, and whatever, and I can keep going down that list. Um, I did see somebody said germ was smoking crack. <laughs> it's Angel I said germ smoking crack. Uh, MPH development, Craster had Targaryen blood. Well, did he? You know, a lot of people think that or, you know, Stark blood or both or whatever. Him being a son of uh, Aemon Targaryen or Blood Raven, and I think that's fine. I just think they got to tell us that, you know. Right. That's the thing. We just don't know. Now we'll never. Well, I mean, again, unless we get that information uh, from the either another episode or books, you know. So right now we're just still speculating. So now we'll still do theory videos on <laughs> if we get the answers in the books or not. <laughs> um, assuming they don't give us some exposition next week or whatever. Before they get into the political Cersei, Iron Throne shit. Um, Gorlack, the Night King, lost his first battle. He sure did. Absolutely. First loss, and uh, he took the L, and that's the end of it. So no more uh, no more magic ice zombies and, uh, you know, no, we didn't get ice spiders. No. None of that stuff. No more whites. None of that stuff can happen. He's gone. He was the uh, first. And that, look, that, that shows you, right, that he's the first. They all died. They all dropped. They all fell apart. That's right. There's no more Night Kings <laughs> floating around out there. So, um, Marty says, uh, Arya was Azor High. Well, I mean, yeah, in the sense of actually uh, wielding Lightbringer or just, you know, killing the Night King. But Azor High never says that, right? Azor High just says, uh, the darkness shall flee before him. That's really, you know, you never get the details. That's the thing about the prophecy, right? Um, let's see, Lamont Man, uh, thank you, Lamont, what, damn it, I lost it, uh, here we go, Lamont Man, um, appreciate the question, Kyle grabbed it, uh, Arya getting to the Night King is a callback for sneaking up on John in the exact area, good point, that's a good point, they kind of gave it away last week, didn't they, yeah, how you sneak up on me like that, that is true, I'll be a son didn't of think bitch. about it, I was me too, uh, I was too tore son up, son of a bitch, that's a great point, <laughs> great, uh, great pickup, man. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, 
I'm telling you, you know, people complain about some of the writing and shit, and I agree with most of it, or, or some of it, but these things mean stuff. You know what I mean? These yeah. little, these lines and scenes and the way they shoot things, it all means something, for the most part. Um, let's see. Uh, Gabriel, I think I okay. No, I'm back up here. Yeah, because I got Gabriel before about Danny and the King's Landing vision. But there's um, D Wally. That's the one. Yeah, that's the thought one I, they were skipped. Yep. I got that one. That and, was the real reason. And the Jedi. Bron yep. was next. Uh, pouring one out for Weirwood dot net. Um, here we go. Uh, Randall P. Thank you for the super chat. Possible explanation for the Night King or- Orchestra Master. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the night the whites didn't enter the lake. It would it would kill them. They wouldn't enter the fire. It would kill them. He had to wave an extra command. Yes, I, I, I guess, but they seem to operate. They don't seem to care. They throw themselves off mountains, but they just never shown him like doing anything before. Like it's just assumed that he's thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I've always thought. It was just yeah. odd for him to all of a sudden show a command like, ooh, yeah, you know. And, <laughs> yeah, so uh, abracadabra, I guess. Um, but which is fine. I mean, it just makes you wonder, like you said, if he had to do that, then. Every, yeah. they're like, they, like, they know what to do every time. He'd be else. wiggling his ears and I mean, <laughs> blinking his eyes and everything. He can't fly a dragon and swing a sword and <laughs> all this shit while he's damn orchestrating stuff. Um, so it was just kind of odd. Uh, Alicia, uh, is that an L there? Uh, it's all grayed out to me. Alicia Davis, thank you for the super chat as well. Why didn't John light the trench? He was useless. He sat on the wall and watched everyone die. Um, yeah, well, well, John was... In the air at the time, I mean, they couldn't see the trench. That's the problem. Davos was waving the things. Yes, and they couldn't see it until. Um, so that was that was the reason for that. He was still flying around chasing the Night King. They were at the time, right? Um, so I wouldn't say useless in that sense, but they they were useless in the beginning without burning all the whites before the damn Dothraki charged out there. So useless. Um, but yeah, and then he was trying to get to Bran and couldn't because all this shit was chasing him. And then Viserion came back uh, in the yard. So. Uh, Sam L, thank you for the super chat. Thank Ghost you. was spotted in the preview. Viva la Ghost. Uh, very cool. I'll, I'll cool watch that deal. in detail here after this stream. And well, do Ghost the, is pretty slick. Yeah, apparently. To run through that. I mean, he just apparently just turned. Maybe he did run all. Maybe he listened to me. Maybe he listened and said, good idea. <laughs> he got in the fog. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, hey, just go that way in the wolf's wood. Maybe he did. He just went to the woods and pissed on some trees. Uh, so cool. I will watch that and do the preview video after the stream tonight. Uh, Big Sis, thank you for the super chat. Where were the rest of the White Walkers? They were all just waiting, like in the back, like they always do. And then they all walked in when they knew the battle was over, essentially. Yeah. To kill, to watch the Night King. <laughs> and John his, went for them, remember? And, yes. When they were still with their horses. And then is that, the that's dragon. when the storm. That's when the storm came and yeah. blew him like out of the sky where he couldn't see anything. And the dragons were all uh, disoriented and all that's that stuff. That's right. So, yeah, they were back there just waiting for the Whites to do their job. Uh, Lord Kev, thank you, Lord Kev. Do you think, uh, do you like your Whites original or extra crispy? <laughs> also, during the library scene, uh, Lady Kev popped, up, uh, popped off a fart and scared me to death. <laughs> Hashtag the hell. Hashtag the hell. Oh, oh hell. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's funny. Do you have that on camera, Lord Cab, by the way? Just shout out. That curious. was an intense scene. If there had been something in here. Well, I'll, yeah. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly. Uh, no shit. Uh, thank you, Lord Cab. The Jedi, here's, here's the Jedi Muffin. Yeah, uh, cool. You, yes, yeah, sorry. We're just now catching up to all these, and there's probably another line under them. Uh, we might have to do a last call here for like Super Chats in case. I don't. I hate missing them, and I apologize. We're just yeah, trying to get through them. So, that. yeah. Um, let's see, Jedi Muffin. Do you think that Kybern handle the dragons? Um, what do you mean handle the dragons? I mean, he's going to try to kill them, you know, with the scorpions or whatever. Right. So, in that sense, he's going to try. But I don't. I don't know. Hopefully, we don't lose another dragon. Now that the magic don't have to die, we don't have to lose dragons or yep. ghosts or whatever. Um, unless there is a twist, uh, I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, I mean, I don't think he's gonna be able to control him if that's what you're asking. I don't, I don't know, I don't, because this is magic stuff. He don't, he's just trying to figure shit out. Obviously, he's done something to the mountain. Uh, by the way, although go ahead, the mountain will never be a white now. No, he will. not So the mountain's just undead mountain, and he will. Uh, we'll see if the game ball still happens. Yep, yeah, that's right. So that takes away that theory. Anything regarding <laughs> people turning? Yeah. 
burning weir woods and all that. We'll see. Um, let's see. Uh, Arya, I mean Alicia. Thank you, Alicia. Thank um, you. Arya killed Night King. Uh, Euron killed a Witch King in Lord of the Rings. Oh, I can't pronounce that name. Let's say Ewan. <laughs> That's, I guess that's what I'd say. Yeah, a I just a don't one. remember enough about Lord of the Rings about who's who, honestly. It's been so long. I really liked them, but I don't remember the details. I never got into it so deep that I remembered all the details. So, honestly, I don't know who you're talking about. I just know some characters' names and some general stuff about it. Not enough to, to even know in detail. Um, Alex Brown, thank you, Alex. Do you think Cersei will blow up King's Landing? I think she will try. I think she will, and that's Daisy's <laughs> vision. Yeah, well, we know that the vision, the the roof is burnt. Yeah. So, but not an explosion. Right. Like wildfire should be. So, I don't think it'll happen. I think she'll try. I don't know. I think we'll definitely see some burning, no doubt, uh, from Dragonfire. Yeah. Um, because they may just be forced to do it. You know what I mean? Uh, and and but the vision doesn't have to be literal. You know what I'm saying? No, no, it, it don't. All to the very. It height of the yeah, wall. It don't have to be literal, but just just if you go by that. Like, but I think the, the it, they were just saying, you know, King's Landing will burn. She won't want the throne. I believe Cersei will do it again. Yeah, no doubt she'll uh, she'll try for sure. Either way, if she sees she's losing, I mean, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No she doubt. wants to rule and yeah, everything. She's not going to give it up without dying or yeah. without blowing it up for everybody else. Uh, let's see, Alicia, is Grey Worm a faceless man? Uh, no, I don't didn't think so. I have no. no no hints of that whatsoever, so I wouldn't I wouldn't think so. He's a badass. <laughs> He's a badass for damn sure. Um, I said in the in the show that spears are the wrong weapon to be using for whites. Yeah. Once you stick you one, that, you're done. Yes. You're literally done. I mean, you can't you, gotta, you can't retract it in time to no. keep. It's just the wrong weapon. Uh, it so is that was, horrible, right? Because that's more for stopping people and horses, yes, and horses. And, and horses and shit, you know. And then another row comes in and stabs and pulls back, and that, I don't know. Uh, anyway, it didn't work too well. <laughs> They'll know next time, <laughs> right? Uh, let's see, Stephen Styles. Thank you, Stephen, uh, for the super chat. Zero White Walkers fall in all the long night. That is true. I, well, I mean, they well, we've seen a few fight actually, but yeah, during this fight. No, they didn't do... They just walked in. Right. They just stood back and let their minions do the work. Uh, Dawn Cook, thank you. Uh, do you think Arya will uh, kill Cersei? Um, no. I, I, now that I don't. I, I think that was a possibility before. But if you give it to Cersei or Arya to kill both main villains, I mean, I, I, that literally is overkill, like I said earlier. It really is. Yeah, really. uh, I think they, I, I they got to give it to... We'll see, uh, hopefully, Jamie, but we'll see. Jamie makes the most poetic sense to me. Uh, Francisco, thank you for the super chat as well. So, what's your prediction for the third twist now? I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it. Um, I still think we, like I said, we could still get information on the Night King and the Long Night, who he was. That's still on the table, so we can still have that conversation. It's just when you first watch this, you think you gotta for some reason get it before he dies, and you don't. You yeah. know? So next week we could get the third twist on if it's related to him. You know what I mean? But we could all be wrong, and it's something completely separate. I have, we have no ideas coming. Yeah, could you imagine when it's all over, <coughs> uh, them all sitting around the table and, you know, already be like, remember Freys killed our family and everything? Yeah. yeah. I took care of them. Remember? Yeah, Mike exactly. King, exactly. Army of the Dead? Yeah, I got them. Yeah, now they all got to yeah, face up to everything they've done, which they kind of did last episode, and I don't think they need to go into details, but, and you can't have a scene where they just tell you everything. They sit around, oh, let's uh, go around the room. No, no, you? I'm saying... <laughs> They say if you think Arya will kill Cersei, I can't imagine Arya going down the line and just handling all the oh, Starks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking, No, I agree, yes. You know, I yeah. took care of him. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was the only one to remember. The North didn't really remember yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. I killed the Night King for you. Right. Now I will kill Cersei. I mean, what else you want me to do? Yeah, really. Yeah, that's uh, literally overkill. Um, C-Mob, thank you, C-Mob. Maybe there's a point to humanity. Cersei be more vicious and capable of evil than the Night King who was unfeeling. Humanity is more monstrous, hopefully. Yeah, that is, uh, that yeah, is that's a fair point. is more monstrous. A fair point. He was the result of there, said that's evil. That's right. So, uh, yeah. So that, that's, a, that's a good point. Uh, you got, and you got to kind of think about that way when you're kind of like, eh, I should have got this or that or whatever. You know what I mean? Because it is about... 
them changing. And I've all, we've always said that, but we still want some answers is all we mean. We've always said it's about it changing like the society. You know what yes. I mean? Uh, and again, not an overnight democracy or something, but so, you know, breaking that wheel means That's feud- right. feudalism. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, I see a super chat uh, says message retracted, so I don't know who that is, so thank you. Uh, I don't see a name. Austin Klein, thank you for the super chat. Missed my first chat. Uh, Austin, I'm sorry. I I will look for in a second. Uh, one second here, Austin. Uh, so I remember that name, Austin mm-hmm. Klein, so I can go look. Uh, th- thank you, Austin. I pro- apologize. I'll try to grab it in a second uh, if I missed it. Uh, Randall P. Uh, D&D, thank you for the super chat. Uh, D&D said the show wouldn't answer all of a Song of Ice and Fire. I'm sure George wanted that since D&D ruined Dorn so bad. I think we'll, he will answer everything. Uh, we'll see. I, I'm, I'm fine with that, I hope. But, again, I'm just saying from their own mouths, they said it was the same ending. You know what I mean? Same general ending, uh, getting to the same place. So he could have maybe somebody different kill him or whatever. Yeah. Uh, who knows? But it, I mean, we'll see. If, uh, again, I'm gonna give it a couple. I'm gonna give it the rest of the season to see if we get some answers. That's right. Um, let's see, Paige Roberts. Thank you, Paige, for the super chats. Um, uh, Germ said uh, the hardest chapters to write about are brand chapters in Night King. Uh, oh, where did where did where did it go? What just happened? Did we hop, we we hopped again? Mm-mm. Uh, this jumped again to the bottom. Oh, Jesus Christ, this, we're so we're so far behind. I think. Uh, wow. Yeah, this keeps hopping. I'm sorry, guys. I can't wow. keep up with this. There's no way in hell. No. Um, let me try to oh find. Oh goodness gracious! Yeah, I thought we were like close. Oh, here, well, here we are. Here we are. Yep. Uh. Let's see. Okay, Paige's question was, uh, there has to be something we're still missing about the Night King. There was too much build up. Something is missing. Uh, oh, Germ said the hardest chapters to write were our brands, chapters. Yeah, no, that's what we're saying, Paige. Hopefully we'll get some kind of answer post, uh, post-mortem, <laughs> I guess. Uh, Patrick, thank you for the super chat. Hey, guys, thanks for all the content. My biggest problem with the episode is that an army of 100,000 dead people were beat like by 10 people. No, they, no. No, they wasn't beat. Dragons and... Yeah. They, well, they wasn't beat at all. They were losing. It was Arya that saved them by yeah. killing him. They were all dying. I mean... Oh, it was... They were done. They were completely done. They were on their Minutes last away. little... Like, they were out of... Like, you, they couldn't even swing a sword anymore. They were starting to, like, having to hold them all for a minute. Right. So, they were definitely losing. They were going to all die easily. Uh, and then, once he killed... She killed him, they all crumbled. So, that was... Uh, yeah, they got their ass beat. You know, uh, for sure. I hated the scene where they're exhausted and all of a sudden the people they just killed came back again. And is that the th- is that yeah. the first time it showed the reanimated mm-hmm. killed and when he come back again? Yeah, when he raided. Yeah, because apparently they just didn't. I mean, he was close, right? And he don't have to be in the area from it, but it takes a long time for them to turn if he's not doing the arm raise or the. No, no, I, I mean. Whites died and came back. No, whites can't come. Well, if they... They did. How, how does that happen? I mean, if they're killed I by didn't, I didn't write it. <laughs> you don't remember that scene when... The, no. Not they with, were all like freaking exhausted. They, they just struck down some people. And then, I mean, surely... Because it didn't look like they were, they, it was um, people on their side. Because it looked like you had like four or five... Um, well, if they were the if they were like chopped up by like regular steel, yes, they can't because they they never actually die. They would still move, like if they were just chopped in half or something. If they're killed by dragon glass or Valyrian steel or fire, they can't come back. So in other words, you can't really kill them with regular steel. I guess what they just chopped up. I saw was maybe they struck down a white, and he raised his hand because it was like there was a group of them they all did it and they were and and then he raised his hand and maybe the other humans that were laying under there came up or whatever i gotta see that scene again yeah, because i meant way, to ask you I that saw, right then yeah the way i saw it was it was just the first time anybody had got raised from that particular battle uh as far as the actual humans um so i just i just saw i didn't see any notable whites that got back up i wouldn't think that could happen unless uh yeah because if they're killing them and chopping them up, right, 
they can't they they may still be animated, but they can't really do anything. Yeah. But if they kill them with dragon glass or Valyrian steel, they're done. They're explode. They're not yeah getting back up. It was just the way it was filmed. It might, it they were swinging been. and fighting. They fell, and then it looked like they raised right back up. So it just must have been the the other humans that had already died laying right. there. Because it wasn't as obvious as the other ones they showed that turned into whites. Right. And they probably, and they certainly zoomed in on our main characters for yeah. sure. Um, let's see. Um, uh, I saw uh, a question up here. Uh, Mitza Ray in this regular chat here. I have a question. What do you guys think Bran was doing the entire time he was warging? Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, that's why we're hoping that we get some answers next week about what the hell he was doing or was he just watching everything at the same time? You know, kind of from a bird's eye view, was he in Ravens again for some reason? I mean, at that point, the Night King was in Winterfell. Yeah, and we talked about that last week about how <laughs> boring would that be. He would almost have to be hovering as slow as they're walking. Yeah, know? I mean, I don't it – just yeah, it was just odd. It was, it was, it was almost – it was to remind you of the Blood Raven thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, he's just sitting there, and he's just going to come up and whack him while he's in ward mode. Mm -hmm. I think that's why they did it, but it was kind of like, eh, what is he doing? You know, do something. Um, let's see. Uh, guys, I'm just going to give you a heads up. It's 1 o'clock, so I, I, I'm trying to get through these super chats so uh, and to make sure I can get through We them just all, realized there's about 60 or there, 70 there's more. There's probably uh, there's a shit ton more, and uh, I'm just I'm just going to give you a heads up. I may not be able to get to all these, so I just want, you know, maybe last call. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't want to, uh, you know, uh, piss anybody off by, you know, giving a super chat and we don't get to it. Just giving you a heads up. Um, but we're trying here. We'll try to pick out ones maybe that were similar because you probably heard the answer in a, in a way. Uh, let's see. Patrick Snyder. Hey, guys. Thanks for the content. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. We just got Patrick. I'm sorry, Patrick. That was the dead. We beat like 10 people. Um, Skull Vikings. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, the frustrating thing is that all these various things in my mind, but this was none of them. Not sure how to feel. Great episode, but exactly. That's kind of the first impression. Um, but again, as uh, we've talked about it, we still can get more information. It, I guess you just kind of assume for whatever reason you need to get that before he dies, I guess. So maybe we still get the information we need, uh, at least a, f a few answers. You don't have to answer every single thing, you know what I mean? Uh, let us guess on some things. Right. Um, let's see. Z Sin, thank you. I think Nymeria came back to avenge your sister lady's death when they battle Cersei is far more poetic, used for the wolf pack. Don't you think Cersei was responding? That is true. That is true. And they're a little closer down there to maybe that's right. Help with that battle. So that's a good call. Maybe they'll use them in that battle. Besides That you. would be cool. And uh they could probably live through that a little easier than the whites. So Hell the whites. Yes. So that's a good idea. Uh, Jeffrey Zellin, thank you for the super chat. Uh, don't see a question. Tyler Crayson, thank you for the super chat. Um, nearly everyone made it. Yeah, but we lost a uh, shit ton of people in the scheme of things in probably in what five mains, four or five. So it was kind of what we expected. I didn't expect uh, the main mains and, and, and you know everybody. There's still more battling to and, go, and we have three exactly. We have three more episodes. Uh, the death's not done. Right. Um, I'm glad all those people made it. Exactly. Uh, I th yeah, I mean, they. I don't think they, they didn't want to overdo it, but you can't come out clean where everybody lives either. So I think it's a pretty good balance. Um, top Skulls, thank you. Uh, don't forget about the Ironborn and Yara. They may still have pl a play in this. How do you think they would play into this? Uh, I think they would make their take their leftover troops to King's Landing. Uh, I think that's a possibility. I think the other possibility is we just don't see them. Yeah, we talked about that. I really that. think yeah. the Yara was a good buy, just to get her kind of out of the way where she lives. Maybe at the end where she comes back into a council meeting or That's something. That's what I can see, yep. But I don't think Yara will be involved. I mean, maybe she'll she come could back. She could be, yeah, but yeah. I could see that as a good buy, too. Yeah, maybe she goes and gets some more ships built or something somehow and comes in and, and destroys Euron's fleet or yeah. helps out the call. So I hope so, but I just felt like that was a good buy, you know what I mean? Last episode with uh, Theon. Um Sergio, thank you for the super chat. What's going to happen with LeBron? Uh, he's going to meet with them, and he's I, I don't I don't see him going through with it. I don't see him actually really even considering it. I think he's just going to get away from Cersei. He finds out what happened. He joins the uh, you know right team. I think. I mean that would be a shocker if he actually did it. If he even thought about it more than ten seconds. Yeah, that'd be a shocker. 
<laughs> um, Bear, Juden, thank you, Bear. Uh, thank you. But Cersei kills them all. Jamie goes back to Cersei and their incest Cyclops baby rules the Seven Kingdoms. <laughs> maybe, maybe so. I definitely will not have seen that coming if she fucking wins this whole thing. Uh, then I would be disappointed if it just ends like that. Uh, Eric Newcomer, how surprised were you by the wake in the crypts? I was actually super shocked. I mean, I wasn't, well, I wouldn't say shocked because, I mean, we've always, everybody's we've asked about, about it for a years. Tubs, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it was, um, I think it was more fan service for, since it's such a big theory, yeah. uh, more than anything and, uh, just to show, but at least they didn't overdo it. It was just a couple, you know, was, um, and it wasn't like, um, you, you know, you didn't see Ned come back out of a box of bones, Yeah, you know, just something crazy. So I think it was fine. It was okay. Um, but it wasn't overdone, I think. So I think it was more of a fan, because that's such a big thing. And they did make them, the ones that came back, look old and raggedy as hell. Mm -hmm. So thank God they did that. Right, instead of like some weird thing where dust comes back together. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they had to be fairly recent. They didn't make anybody like known as Rickon or somebody, which, you know, they could have done. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh shit, they're actually doing the crypts. So that's actually what I said. Uh, Tyler, thank you for the super chat. What about Brian? What purpose do we serve? Um, I think uh, I think he joins the right side. He may die fighting Cersei because he doesn't listen to Cersei, or he may get his castle. I mean, it's a, it's a coin flip for me with Bron. Uh, I, I hope he gets his castle, but I think he'll do the right thing. Because uh, I mean, everybody's on a growth arc, right? He's not just a sell sword anymore. Uh, let's see, Everybody Alex but Brown, Cersei. huh? Everybody but Cersei. Yeah, that's true. It, it's true. <laughs> Cersei tried for a minute. She that was did. It. Uh, Alex Brown, do you think Cersei will blow up King's Landing? We just said that. Uh, yeah. You think he? She absolutely. You think she absolutely will? Is what if she's saying? losing, if, if she's she, losing, when right. she realizes she's yeah. losing, she's going to try. Yeah, I'm on the same page. She's definitely going to try for sure. Uh, I don't think they she made succeeds. too much of a point to show all that cash of that. Yeah, and we know? still have. Yeah, right. With the whole brand uh, flashbacks and burned them all. Yeah. Uh, Nathan, uh, Graham, thank you, Nathan. Do you think Liana Giantsbane is confirmed as torment her daddy? Okay, I've read that one before, so I don't know if that was the same question. Sure um, but no, yeah. I don't I don't think anything's confirmed with that. I don't think they'll give us that answer. Maybe more of a book thing. Um, I think that's a possibility. Um, but Mage Mormont has not been in the show since the Red Wedding, so I don't think that's a thing in the show. Uh, let's see, Doc Holiday. Thank you, Doc. Uh, I was first uh, first thought Bran grabbed the dagger when it when it when it fell and stabbed the Night King. That would have been better. Yeah, I did too at first. Actually, I thought he called it. I did too. Yep. I really did. And then he smugly, you know, but he just knew it was going to happen. So he just sit there and smiled at him, you know, with his fucking stare. That should have killed the Night King right there, right? His damn stare. Uh, Liana Mormont's too, for that matter. Oh, but yeah, God, I did too. Yeah. For a minute, Doc, I thought the same thing. Yeah. Um, but then it hit me the whole Brienne fight. Um, Asher, thank you for the super thank chat. You. John's dragon could be dead. What do you think? No, I think Rhaegal will probably live, but he's going to be injured. So Very I think we, injured. I think we made it with two dragons for yeah. now. That doesn't. This is not over yet. That's right. So I think we'll find out next episode that he's uh, he's probably hurt but alive. Maybe he's not uh, capable of flying to King's Landing. But they're going to take a break. I mean, they can now. They can have some time. Now they can do some time where like uh, six months has passed or something. That's right. Yeah, yes, thank you. No more Night King on the way on a dragon. Uh, Hoonjob. Thank you, Hoonjob. Uh, I see two super chats, but I don't see questions. Um, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Ungalant. Episode was awesome. The series just uh, shit the bed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, we'll see, though. Again, I'm, I'm, I, well, I came into this shocked and kind of mad about it, but obviously since we've been talking – the more I've thought about it, that we can still get more information. Yeah. You know what I mean? After this whole thing. Uh, Charlie Gilchrist. Thank you, Charlie. Where did Bran go when he warged? I mean, I'm assuming he was still just watching everything at once. Uh, it's really all I know, unless that gives him a good reason. Because nobody knew that, but Theon and Theon died. So, yeah, it was just, it was kind of the to echo Blood Raven because you thought he was going to sit there the whole time and just get stabbed, and that was it, right? Um, let's see. Uh, football explained. Uh, thank you. Uh, Melisandre said green eyes. Arya next kill Cersei. Uh, I, I, we said that before. I hope not. I mean, it could be, but she's killed a lot of people. Like, I think, did Joffrey have blue eyes or green eyes? I can't remember. This all matched up with other people she's killed yeah, on her list. Yeah, so, yeah. uh, I, I wouldn't think it'd be Cersei, too. That's a little too much for her to get both. 
Uh, the Jazz It Up Girl, thank you. Arya stuck the Night King where the dragon glass was in his chest. I hope Brandon was dialed into wherewith.net that whole time to give us more insight. Yes, I hope so, and I hope we get that uh, next next week for sure, or one of these next couple weeks. Next week makes the most sense to me because they have time to sit down and chill. Uh, Ray Mooney, thank you for the super chat. Any chance we see a dragon egg hatch before the end, a hidden egg or dragon stone perhaps? Uh, yeah, we've said that before as one of the final scenes ever. Like, if the dragons happen to die, of course, now we don't know if they, they die at all. Um, unless Cersei somehow pulls it off when the Night King couldn't with his own dragon, right? Yeah. Which seems odd. But we've said that we, we could see, you know, maybe uh, uh, a clutch of eggs, uh, at least a clutch of eggs, not a hatch, hatching, but just a clutch somewhere. That would be cool. Exactly. That uh, would be very cool. Uh, Bella, thank you, Bella. Uh, why is that the brand Arya gave... Uh, Arya, yeah, Bran gave Arya the dagger. Yes, uh, apparently so. I mean, I don't know if he fully knew, like we said before, but it se- he seemed to like be know something was important about it. Yeah, but he just said, straight up said, you know, it's lost on a cripple. It's no good for me, so take it. So I think um, uh, Eddie, Steve's following up with this. Brand gives Arya the knife uh, paid off. Uh, yes, yeah, same yeah. scene. And he put himself out there as bait and everything. It's right. Like, I don't know. Uh, I think so we might th- learn thank some you, stuff. Steve. Appreciate it. Uh, Derek, uh, thank you for the super chat. Don't see a question. Thank you, Catterick. Uh, thank you for the super chat as well. Don't see a question. Raina Marie, thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Saying for our group therapy session. <laughs> appreciate it, Raina. Yeah, this is definitely some therapy for sure. Um, still got to process you. more. Uh, Aaron Lawson, thank you. What do you think Brand was doing or warging into during the episode? Um, so, same thing there. Um, I don't think Arya is asking also about Arya. I don't think Arya kills Cersei now, at least. I especially don't now. But I don't know what Bran was doing. Again, I think it was just more of a, a blood raven thing, making you think he's going to die. You know, he's stuck while the Night King's walking up to him, right? Yeah. Uh, Pre for Guerdo. What's up, Pre? Wow. Welcome back. Um, yeah, been a while. Hey, Chris. Nice to be back. Do you think Melisandre died because her magic was connected to the Night Kings and Children of the Forest? Uh, I do think it's all the same source regardless. I just think um, that's a good question. But the thing is, it, it was still magic holding, uh, you know, with her. So it's not, magic's not dead, right? No, it's not dead. If she wouldn't have taken off the choker, she would have still been fine. So it clearly shows she took off the choker and walked off into the sunset uh, or the sunrise and then turned to dust. Um, so I don't think it was because magic was dead, but her role. Right. Like she decided, like, it's almost like she could control that. Like she could have died at any time she wanted without her potions and her, uh, you know, magic necklace. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, probably hadn't been taking her potions because she turned old and dusty and like crumbled to what she should be naturally. Uh, let's see, Jason T. Thank you, Jason. Everybody, both dragons and ghosts in the trailer episode four. They're alive. Cool. So we got there. You go, both dragons. So yeah, I'll do the trailer thing next. Um, let's see, uh, Sir uh, Sarab, I think. Uh, Bagai, I believe. Uh, thank you for creating this content. What is Bran's role for the rest of the season? What was he warging or doing in the battle? Same thing, I don't know. The rest of the season, I don't see him having a big role, honestly. Uh, you know, maybe he can help with Cersei. He can see what they're doing, but he can't see the future, I don't think, in this case. So, yeah, Bran, I expected him to die, honestly, this uh, episode. I did, too. So, yeah, maybe he's just... Um, He's just kind of done and sits up at Winterfell because I don't see him traveling, so I don't know. Uh, Twisted Tentacle, thank you. Thank you guys for being so awesome. Appreciate it. Uh, Echo, what are your thoughts on Melisandre's death? I thought it was great. I did. I thought that was great. Yeah. She served her role, did the magic thing we talked about with the fire, said, and, and walked away. Exactly. Said what she was going to do and did it. Yep. Told uh, Davos, there's no need. Yep. <laughs> I'll be dead by sun up. I thought that was good. Uh, Lawrence, uh, thank you for the super chat. Don't see a question. Top Shelf Underground, thank you. Um, do you think the Far North will return to the way it was when the children created the White Walkers? Bran saw the set blow up before it happened. Uh, yes, I do think that uh, we will see definitely, I don't know if it'll be the last episode or the next couple, whatever, we'll definitely see spring happen. A dream of spring. Not immediately because it is winter. You know, but now it can go away fairly quickly and the snows can melt. So, yes, we will see sunshine. That'd be cool. And we will see that same tree probably up north again as in the spring. Yeah. No doubt. I mean, of course, I had no doubt that Night King was going to die in some special way. <laughs> so, we don't, I don't know. But, yes, I think so. 
<laughs> uh, let's see the diaries of uh, in in Josie in Josie. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing. Oh, what that. about Brand saw the set blow up before it happened? Oh, uh, thirty-six. Did seven, he? Uh, well, he saw. Yeah, well, he saw wildfire. Yeah, I don't know if that because he saw wildfire coming down the halls in the visions. That is true. That is true. Yeah. So those are some of the things, but mostly those were past events. So I don't. But there hasn't been a past wildfire thing except for uh, Blackwater. Because the Mad King never had it done, so maybe that was a future thing uh, that showed either the set or, you know, like we said, the Cersei never uh, coming up season eight. So that is true. He does get these little glimpses. We we know that, but we were saying like, is he purposely going in and seeing things somehow from the future? I don't think so, but I think uh, it seems for sure in visions he gets some flashes of like current, past, and maybe some future stuff. If he thinks he's important at all <coughs> to the world. He damn sure wasn't scared that he was about to die. Nah, he wasn't. And I know he knows he's important to the world. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he said so it last So it makes me episode. feel like he was calm as a cucumber because he knew yeah, all he was going to fucking kill him. He just sit there smiling. Like, yeah. hey, I'm, you know, how you doing? What's yeah. up? Good Didn't to say know you, word. Theon. Yeah, you thanked know? him for his service. You're and awesome, then, dude. Boom. Uh, so, yeah, it, it, it's there's little moments like that to make you think he damn sure knows something, you know, but I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to... I guess he just can't tell us. I mean, I don't <clears throat> like the thought of him being able to, but it just feels like he can. Right. Uh, the Diaries, thank you for the super chat. Hi, all. How is Danny and John going to win King's Landing? It looks like they don't have an army. Not sure if you answered this question. Yeah, I mean, they don't have a lot left. Uh, so it's going to be, I think, that's why they probably... Re I mean, they have dragons. Um, and you know how they do. They'll multiply what's left a little bit. Uh, but they'll get the Golden Company. That's how. That, that They're going to switch. So that's the whole idea of the Golden Company breaking their contract. They join their side, become the new Dothraki, essentially. Because we still have some Unsullied, not many. They're pretty much all gone, too. Um, other northern people, and then the Golden Company join them. I think that's how. I need to take something back. Uh-oh. The way <laughs> I said the way Bran acted, Blood Raven took it like a champ, too. He did, yeah. He just... So he knew yeah, it. he knew he was important, and he just took it. He knew so it. So Brian was just going to do it. So that doesn't mean anything. What I said yeah. about that. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he just he seemed awful confident though. He was just he like, did, yeah. <laughs> you know, I yeah. don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, dragons and the Golden Company. Uh, the diary is what I'm I'm guessing is the, the whole idea of the Golden Company switching. Uh, Canadian unicorn just got here. Do you think Sansa and Tyrion are going to get together? Was Melisandre and Night King connected, seeing as she died right after him? Uh, no, I don't think directly connected, as in she was going to die because he did, but definitely the same source of magic. I still believe that. They just don't know that. And I guess he will never explain that. We'll see if they explain that or ever tell us anything like that, so I don't know. But not directly, as in that's the same type of magic that kept her alive. Because uh, obviously she chose to take the choker off, right? Yes, she did. Um, but uh, Sans and Tyrion is interesting. It makes me think they may think about it now. Because we thought about that a long time ago, and they were joking with each other and smiling. So, I don't know. We'll see. I think yeah. it's very possible. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, let's see. Uh, RJXMVs. Yep. Uh, prediction. Either John Tyrion killed Danny as the final twist. I say this because she still has a treason betrayal to endure three trees, you know, uh, once for blood, once for gold, and once for love. Yeah, but that's more of a book thing. So, we'll see how that happens. Um, I, don't, I don't buy... Tyrion actually purposely betraying Danny in any way or John. Again, something that comes up that seems like a betrayal, maybe. I don't see a direct betrayal. He doesn't like Cersei at all. He just wants to protect the child. We'll see how that works with the whole thing, her being supposedly pregnant still. Um Richard, thank you for the super chat. Should have been Jon Snow. Uh eh, you know, I'm fine with it being somebody else, but we, we I felt like there should have been some magical John stuff as far as his blood goes. Yep. In some way. Um John Brunson, thank you, John. Love your videos. Hope to see you at Con of Thrones. Thank you, appreciate it, man. Uh Darren Hall with the super chat saying thanks. Appreciate it, Darren. Rock and roll. Um John Skidmore, thank you for the super chat. Don't see a question. Alicia, rewatch. John was definitely on the wall. Danny was in the air. On the wall? Oh, I guess say when he didn't like, <laughs> Oh, when he landed. He should the, have lit the thing. Yeah, when he landed, that's true. The but trenches. he didn't know, but I guess he had, she had stopped waving the things. When I he landed so. on the God's wood wall, that's what you're saying. I, yes, that's true. But he at that point, Davos had stopped and said, she can't see us. 
So she was the one who was supposed to light it up, I guess. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, Dragon. There's Dragon. Thank you, Desert Dragon. Thank you. Uh, Sansa and Tyrion are being shipped so hard again. Also, Danny has a dragon. Uh, how is the uh, Vision House of the Dying playing out in the next couple episodes? And the most stream we almost, almost predicted Valyrians could kill the Night King. Uh, good night. Um, early start tomorrow. Uh, thank you, Dragon. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I think there is something to the Tyrion Sansa thing. There were two yeah, connected there, and they had a moment, and yep. uh, they were holding hands. And, yes. he, and she pulled out the dagger, and he's like, "All right, we're going to do something." So I, I think that's I think that's going to happen for sure. I do too. Or something will le- they're at least making us think that. Obviously, I mean, they want us to think that. Um, but yeah, the House of the Undying. We mentioned that before. I think it's um, you know that now we kind of see it no, no longer being the Night King. It's got to be just dragons back in Westeros. We'll see now if that actually means John or Danny actually literally over King's Landing. Uh, but we're not done with dragons for sure. Do 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 do. Uh, do you think Bron? I see Aaron. I think Aaron Sarker. Thank you for the super chat. Do you think Bron will now try to kill Jamie and Tyrion as they survive the Battle of Winterfell? No, uh, Bron will not go through with it. They they want us to think that for a minute, but he won't do it. Yep. <clears throat> Uh, Oberyn, the Red Viper. Uh, thank you. Do the season return to the normal cycle now? Also, still no snow and tropical. I was wondering that. Yes, but, you they, know, I absolutely think they will. Yeah, I absolutely believe that he was the reason they got thrown off balance because he was an unnatural thing. Yeah, unnatural force of nature. So we will definitely see that same tree, like I said before. Uh, now back to springtime. Yeah, with and like you said, it could take a couple months. You know, of yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah. But when we see it again, there's a good chance. Yeah, it's not going to be withered and dead like it looks. You yeah. know, where he was created for sure. Uh, all right, so I think we have. Wait a minute, we're in the. Did, did that jump again? I thought we were at the end. Are you serious? No, no okay, we're really close. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap up these last couple in just a minute. We're going. Let's take a. What was it? One twenty-seven. Yeah. What do we still got going on? Um, damn, everybody's still <laughs> still hyped about it. So yeah, uh, look. Let us take a quick stretch, or we'll come back grab those last couple super chats. So we're going to have to kind of cut those off. I apologize because I got to start doing videos. And then we'll grab a few more from the regular chat uh, before we get out of here. But um, if you don't mind, guys. And then I want to check all this other stuff as well. Thank you, uh, Connor, for subbing. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, let's see. Um, Chicken to Jail through uh, Streamlabs. Will Mel brought, be brought back as nude old Nan? <laughs> thank you, Chicken. No. No. No, please no. Mel, let's just let her rest in peace, man. Uh, but th- thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Connor Fears, for subscribing. Dreadnought. Uh, thank you, Ying Ma, Kofi. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Manny Randall. Westwood Chronic. The <laughs> Westwood Chronic. That is a good The Goat. Uh, Kam Jamali, I believe. Uh, Flash Creatures. Anita. Thank you. Um, Alt. One L two three X four S all that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Lamont Man, uh, Jason, uh, Studious Fool, uh, Captain Midnight, Lucas Parmel, Tom Clough, Derek M, uh, Parmel, Banso, I believe. Uh, appreciate it, and Ella Selly. I know I'm missing a lot too. They don't, apparently they're not. Nothing's popping up here. Like all of nothing. It's all like all out of order. I don't know what's going on. Uh, anyway, uh, are you good with that? Are you, yeah. You take it. So let's uh, let's take a stretcher, guys. Give us a couple minutes. Let me move this over here, and then we'll come back and wrap this up and grab the rest of your questions. Uh, Bill Coupland, six thirty UK, almost breakfast time. Yeah, I guess it is over there. It is today. Uh, all right, so yeah, give us a couple minutes, guys, and we will be right back. Thank you.
Let's give you back your homes or restore your dead to life. But perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. cannot give you back your homes or restore your dead to life, but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king.
Alrighty, alrighty. I think we're back. We are back. All right, let's see. We got to try to wrap this up here. So um, let me go to Canadian Unicorn. Uh, thank you, Canadian. Missed my super chat. Must be a very busy night. It is, and I remember your name earlier, so super. I did actually read it, I believe, if there was a question. Super busy. Uh, by the way, uh, guys, on Patreon, I will answer you guys directly if you have any other questions because uh, Patreon's not refreshing either. Like, it looks like it's done, and then there, I know there's a whole other line. So... I'll get everybody back on Patreon personally. And if I miss a super chat that I haven't, I can't get to, email me in this, the links in the description below and I will reply back there because I hate to miss anybody's super yeah, chat. Yeah, I promise we try hard. Yeah, it's uh, it's almost impossible, especially tonight. So I apologize for missing any questions. But if you, again, if, if I, you think I missed one, I, some people say we missed them and they just didn't hear the answer or they you know went to the bathroom. Or we or hadn't got there yet. Or we hadn't got we there yet out. too because yeah. we're so behind. So yes. Uh, once we are over here, if I've missed one, please email me and I will respond directly. Um, uh, Blood Diamond, thank you for the super chat. Don't see a question there. Uh, and also, I know apparently Nightbot deleted some. Is what uh, Celtic was letting me know. So if you type your question in capitals, I didn't know that could even happen. Yeah, we just discovered that today. So Nightbot should not be able to do super chats, but apparently he does. So some of those that said message de deleted. Yeah, or retracted or something. So please email me if you had one of those, and I will respond directly. Um, I don't, I, I can't read it. Uh, it just says, I, don't, I can't even see who it is. Mm -mm. Um, Chugs Bobin, thank you for the super chat. Do you think Arya and Gendry will make it through season eight alive? Uh, I do. I think definitely Arya. I mean, I think... I'm, I'm starting to feel it. Gendry's out of danger a little bit until he joins King's Landing or whatever happens there. So he can still potentially go. I think Arya for sure makes it, though. So I'm starting to think there's a little hope there. Did you think Clegane Bowl was out of the question tonight? I really thought we were going to lose the Hound. Oh, for, for a minute, yeah. I mean, I was like, we called him snapping out of it finally. But, yeah, we fucking, did. You know, fuck the fire. But he didn't. He didn't necessarily take a sword either with a flaming sword or do anything with fire. So, but he didn't care anymore. Right. So, uh, so that's, that's, that option's still there to do something with fire it, it, with the with the with, mountain. Yep. Exactly. Um, Dolo Dynamite, thank you. Night King warg into Bran. Uh, no, nah, I, I don't think there's. I've always said there's no people warging that don't work. Um, Hodor is a special loop time loop thing. Uh, that always had happened. That's why I can. Uh, Vermeer six skins the books can't do it. A woman claws her own eyes out. He tries though, so I don't think there'll be any people warging. Always have said that. Um, Opia, thank you, Opia, for the super chat. How many Game of Thrones will end? Ari will kill Cersei. Brown eyes, Lord Frey, blue eyes, Night King, green eyes, Cersei Lannister. Um, yeah, I mean, it could fit, but it also um, it also fits some other people as well. So I, I, I can't, I just can't see Arya doing both. It's 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 I don't, it's too much. Like, yeah. I don't know. Unless she's Azor High, she's the chosen one, or some crazy shit that has some twist. But that takes away from the other people as well. If you do too much on one character, um, Bell Boots, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for the hard work, you all. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Ryan Garcia, thank you. Uh, how much of the army is left now? N not much. Not much. Can't wait to watch it again. Yeah, we'll see what they add, but I don't think they that's I think that's why the Golden Company's got to join them. Yeah, we I were, mean they got dragons, but we'll see. Again, I know I, I slipped back to the previous questions, but we were a little worried about Brand getting too powerful or something. Or you know what I mean? And it, yeah. And uh, it seems to be Arya if they do let her kill Cersei. I, yeah, I, doing too much. Because yeah. Bran hasn't done enough. Arya can't do too much. Yeah. So hopefully they don't. I mean, uh, it could happen, but who knows what what the plan is. But we'll see. I want I'm interested to watch this uh about the episode thing after yes. this really quick. Uh T Drop, thank you. Bran Warg, so Night King uh could would feel his presence. Uh, he knew anyway. With the mark, he knew exactly where he was. He don't have to be warging to do that. So that was what his point was last episode about the mark on his arm. Um, yeah, I just think it was more of a, oh, he's shit. He's stuck. He's going to die. He's doing something. He's not going to come out of it. you know. But it's not like he could roll away in the snow. No, he's screwed. I mean, Theon died, so uh, John couldn't get there. <laughs> Sorry. Merlin, Merlin Falcon, thank you. Arya will birth the ruler of the Seven Kingdoms. Um yeah, could be. We'll see. I think we still have a John Danny baby. So this kind of does tell me, though, there'll be a lot more time passed before this thing ends so we can see the whole Danny pregnancy thing. Yes, that's right. 
Um, which makes sense in a, in a way. Uh, Ethereon, thank you for the super chat. Beric's purpose actually has me thoughtful for Lady Stoneheart, just the books. Glad I visited you guys again. What do you think of the accuracy of the Winterfell walls and Star Trek interiors? Uh, I thought they were great. Um, great to finally see other parts of Winterfell, like the library was cool. Loved it. Um, because you just had a courtyard for so many years, and now this year they built this whole thing. And we kind of guessed that, you know, if they're building this whole thing, they're only doing it for one reason, you know, to burn it down because they can't burn the real castle. <laughs> so uh, I thought it was cool. Um, let's see. Vin- Vicious, I believe. Vicious, I think I'm saying that right. So yeah. Arya ex machina Stark was Azor High after all. No, I, I don't think the ex machina. Th- I, I mean, there was no one Azor High. I think that's the point. So. Uh, Christy Miller, thank you. Uh, Aria, just uh, some sunglasses. Thank you. Appreciate the super chat. Yes, she deserves uh, it. Okay, so chicken to jail. I got yours. Will Mel be brought back as nude old man? That's what I saw him over here. That's right, yeah. Um, yeah, not not going to happen, hopefully. <laughs> and I think I think we're caught up here. Uh, Remen, uh, Azab, thank you. Uh, didn't you thank feel you. like there would be more to Bran? Yeah, I mean, saying something, figuring something out, more to Sam as well yep. with the books he stole from the Citadel. So I, I definitely think there should have been more to, to Bran. Um, and again, though, hopefully we'll see next episode them have a conversation with Bran and get some more info. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, all right. Um, uh, let's see. Connor York in the regular chat here. Let's grab a few more here before we get out of here in the regular chats. Uh, I think it's okay. There it is. Uh, sorry if I'm late and I was already answered, but do you think that Arya was under the appearance of a White Walker that she could get behind the Night King? No, I think she just snuck up behind the group and then got a running start and he turned around and called her. So I don't think she could like war or not war, but put a face on of a White Walker. How do you kill one and take its face and all that right. stuff? I don't think that's happening. Um, Rain, I think, or uh, is that Rain or Ron? Um, Q&A, do you think the third twist thir- is the third episode was just Bran's vision while he was warging? Uh, I wouldn't call that a twist. No, I wouldn't think that's a twist. It was pretty straightforward, actually. So, yeah, I don't think that was a twist at all. The, th- the twist is still coming. I-, I mean, it can still relate to the Night King. I- I- again, think about, because we got done watching, like, what the fuck just happened? But you you don't have when you think about it for me you don't have to have the information before he dies, you know you can still have this whatever con- yeah. conversation or something come up whatever. So I think we can still get some answers. I I really believe that's what's going to happen. Hopefully, I mean I do want a couple answers. I don't have to have everything you know it spelled out for me. You know I want to still guess some things and assume some things or whatever. But uh yeah I mean hopefully we'll get a little something something. Um. The Almighty Reptile, thank you, uh, Taryn, for grabbing this. According to, uh, hold on just one second. According to Bran, the Night King wants to destroy all human life and memories. Since Bran holds all the memories of humans, he wants to kill him. Uh, yeah. Oh, are you? I guess she was just telling him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of your conversation. Yeah, but that's what I thought was pretty odd. Him just spelling it out and saying it, and that was like ended up being legitimately it. Well, I mean, I think the Night King again. He would have continued. Yeah. He wouldn't have just stopped at Bran. Um, I want to say this on uh, camera has nothing to do with tonight's episode either. Um, but I was thinking on my long drive that because I, I rewatched that last episode. Right, while you're, while you're driving. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Damn. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I have a lot more respect for Gendry, <clears throat> um the sex scene. Are, yeah, you know. We didn't see the full frontal, right? We saw the side and the scars there. Yeah. But imagine what her stomach looks like from the waif. Oh, yeah. yeah that's true. You know? That's true. And he saw it straight on. It had to be because we saw John's scars and how right. grotesque those were. Yeah, she got tore up from the waif. Yeah. Uh, haircut. So, <laughs> so for him to, you know, steal, he didn't look shocked or anything like that. Yeah, and it had him Very focusing mature. on the, uh, the side, you yeah. know, the, the whip mark. So it was interesting. I didn't think about the, the frontal uh, as far as the, the stab wounds or the scars. Uh, but yeah, she got tore up by the wave in the front um, and forget. twisted up in there. So Ooh. I don't know. Maybe she has some little puncture wounds now. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, Meg Paul, Q&A. Danny was staring literal daggers at John after he told her last episode. Odds on her just straight up killing him f- uh, for the throne. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. Very little. Very little chance of that. I don't think there's any going to be any kind of mad queen 
you know, I'm gonna kill him because he's got a claim. Because he won't, he'll, he just didn't have time to say, I don't care about the damn throne. Yeah, he just didn't have time to say it. The guy that's, interrupted. That's all. I mean, he was processing this the truth. Yeah. You know, so he didn't come out and say it like, hey, don't worry. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something, but don't worry about it. Yeah. He just told her, and then they didn't have time to finish the conversation. He would so, have said it. Yeah, there's going to be uh, that conversation. I'm assuming next week we'll get some ideas about all that. Uh, hell, J- Danny may even turn around and say they tell everybody else the truth and say we're going to take this thing from Cersei so John can have it. And he'll say, no, I don't want it. You can have it. No, I don't want it. But maybe they go ahead and have that conversation with everybody and say, and by the way, the North will be yours, Sansa. Or John, whichever. I can see that. So they're going to have that conversation, I think. So there's still all this interesting stuff to happen. It's just yeah, don't we give gotta, up. Yeah, let's, let's, we're, it's not over. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, it, it just feels like it when you first see that. I understand because we were in the same way. Like, did we just have to see the end? That's right. So, but yeah, you can still get the information. Uh, let's see. Um, grab a couple more, and then we'll get out of here. Uh, let's see, Nat, uh, Natalie, Nat. Uh, Quilina? Yeah. Nat Quilina, I believe. Uh, thank you for the super chat. What is the future of the Dothraki and Danny's vision? Uh, looks like all the Dothraki, except for a handful. There were a handful that came back. I don't know how they fared. We saw a couple running back on a couple on horses. They're I all was gone. glad, actually. Yeah, at least for a Blood couple. Blood. Right. I mean, we lost House uh, Mormont, I guess. But, yeah, the Dothraki are pretty much gone. Yep. I don't know how they fared in the rest of the battle. So, we'll, we should see a handful still around, I'm assuming. Um, but Danny's vision, um, if you're talking about the House of the Undying, you're, you're talking about the Iron Throne. Uh, it's still the same thing. Back then, it was more about she sees the throne, she sees snow on the throne, John, yeah, John. and the burnout ceilings, but she chooses not to touch the throne. So that tells you kind of what's going to happen. Yep. Uh, as and far as this conversation we like were just talking about. Like he said, yeah, John's going to turn it down too. <laughs> exactly. Um, and hey, like I said, watch the, uh, if you seriously watch the video I did last week on Jenny of Old Stones and that little song and what it means from history, and that'll tell you what you want to know. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. And the the um, unsullied are unbreakable. When everybody else was retreating and they were holding the retreat, yeah, hold the retreat, and then they dude, go back out again for Melisandre. They and they, they have marched so many miles, and they just you can't break their resolve. Yeah, and they're and they're free. They don't have to be there. How you cool know? is that? So that that's what I mean. That's the stuff Sans is learning, right? That Danny's all about. Yeah, that's man. what she's kind of. You know, they're recognizing things in each other. Yeah. That people are loyal to them, like Theon and, you know, all that stuff. They, and then she got the, the answer from Asande tonight, you know. Yeah. Yeah, if it wasn't for Dragon Queen, I'll be dead already, by the way. And now I'm just going to walk off dramatically. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, really quick, thank you. Um, I know I can't see everybody because I don't all pop in here, but thank you uh, for all these new subscribers. Ken Rios. Uh, Alejandro Martinez. Ash 600. Snooky. Joshua Daigle. Caesar Vasquez, Brendan, uh, uh, Rashawn, Sean, uh, two Sean's in a row, Sean Romero and Sean DeCampo. Uh, appreciate you guys subscribing. And if you don't mind, click that button really quick. It's it's free. <laughs> it don't take but a second. That's right. Um, yeah, because uh, this this channel's broken during the middle of the season apparently. So <laughs> we'll still try to get to 100k one day. May as well, um, yeah. Grab that last super chat real quick. It did. Uh, yeah. This jump to the regulars, yeah. Uh, Elmer's Elmer, Elmer Fudd. Fudd. <laughs> There's Elmer Fudd. What's up? Uh, thank you, Elmer. Uh, do you think that Jamie get his hand back in the face of the mountain and and face the mountain? Jamie was the best fighter in the Seven Kingdoms once, and for him to face his sister's protector and him 100% will be epic. Uh, I don't think it'll be epic now. I don't either. Jamie is not a fighter now. I can't, I'm honestly. I'm not surprised because I think it, it, that he needs to go back to King's Landing to deal with Cersei, but yeah. he should have died. He really yeah. should have died because he, he, his other hand is literally worthless. We always say, like, put a dragon glass dagger on it, yeah. something to swing around. I guess they can bitch slap him with gold, yeah. but it don't do anything. Not to them. No. Not to them. So, honestly, you know. If yeah, he, he should have been died. He should have died, honestly, yeah. but he's held him off with his left hand. He got, you know, he's been training with Bron. I'm not saying he's horrible with it. But just never like he was with his right hand. So technically, he should have probably died. It would be cool if he had a, you know, a 
sucker punch opportunity. Like the hell, I mean, the Milton was distracted and he was able to bash his scully with that gold head or something. Right. But yeah, that'd be he, cool. I don't want to see him fight him face to face. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> I don't Your think. Spine ripped out. Oh, yeah, like Jason Voorhees style. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, let's grab a couple from the regular chat, and we're going to get out of here. It's almost 2 o'clock. We went a little – obviously, these are longer episodes, so we expect to go a little longer, and we're a little later, obviously, since they're an hour and a half now. Right. Or close to it. But we got to get out of here and get started on videos, and uh, everybody's got to go to work, I'm assuming. <laughs> so, um, Jason Zao, here, here. Hello, Jason. Um, uh Firm, it's the end. Uh, getting close. We're going – yeah, about five more minutes. We're going to grab a couple more from the regular chat here. Uh, we've been going since 10.30, so got to start videos, I, I think. Maybe I just won't do videos this week. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do live streams That's, every day Yeah. And instead of doing videos. Nobody's watching them anyway, so what's the point? Um, let's see. Um, uh, Anthony Anderson, this is very odd, Anthony. There are some serious critics out there. If this episode didn't impress you, then how did you enjoy anything in life? Yeah, it was who, an impressive episode. Who said that? No, you, everybody's complaining about this episode. Yeah, I mean, I I, I love the episode overall. I I'm think he's center- talk, not talking about us. Oh, I, I just thought it was He said record. out there. Oh. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody's complaining about it. Yeah, there's a lot. Well, yeah, I mean, again, it goes back to the, uh, Anthony, it goes back to the, you know, I, I think... And and I and me too. It just included me. When I until we started talking about it and processing a little bit more, that you had to have these answers for some reason before he died. And and it, you would think you know Brand, but if you think about it, like, do you want Brand to go in and tell him exactly how everything's got to be done without any suspense? Right. You know what I mean? Right. So I'm just we're you know, we're hoping we're hoping yeah. there's some more information coming from Brand. Uh, otherwise, he's pretty much done. I mean, there's nothing else really for him to do. Uh, he he's the memory of the world, and that's this next the end. episode, tell us about the Night King and uh, any secrets you know of what Cersei's got cooking, and we're done with you, bud. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Lolo says I love the episode. So uh, yeah, it was good. Yeah, I mean it was it was great, great visually for sure. Um, Roll Tide, I expected bigger deaths. Yeah, I mean. I, you know, like I said, Jamie mainly at least because of the thing. But I mean, you, you got to think Jorah and Grey. I mean, I'm Grey Worm actually made it. I'm surprised. I mean, me too. Uh, I don't remember seeing him. I think he got inside, and most of the Unsullied. Remember, he had to he had to close the thing on the Unsullied, mm-hmm. the trench. He had to close to break the bridge. Uh, I don't know how that really helped. Right. So most of the Unsullied died because they were still holding the yeah. The, you know, letting the retreat happen. And I believe. Me personally, I believe what happened is in the meeting room, they had to make a decision, you know, and say, Oh, yeah, yeah. We can't Maybe. really kill too many of the favorites in this episode. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Because Cause... we got time to kill them. Yes. You know? Yeah, we got more fighting coming. We got yeah. more fighting, for sure. Um, uh, Nia, Nina uh, wanted more down in the crypt. Um. Yeah, see, I was I was actually shocked that they did that. Like I said, not shock, shock, but surprised that they actually did the the crypts thing, where there you know a couple of skeletons came out of the tombs. Yeah, because how I mean they're breaking through concrete, you know, and whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean I'm fine with that. We've always said the crypts would was, not be that big of a thing. Yeah, I was actually digging the idea that it was going to be an escape passage. Right. Yeah, yeah. I agree. So I, and I, we thought come that out for sure. Somewhere. Yeah. But the crypts thing in the books, I think, is more of an RLJ thing. You know, John dreams about it, but he's he's being called by like this yeah. mother thing. Liana's yep. down there, and he's not. So I don't. I've always said that. I've always maintained this story is you know it's a lot more straightforward than people think it or want it to be for that yeah. matter I think so um, anyway yeah the, the main thing is let's just hopefully we get a little more information on the Night King um, uh, Jeer only Bran had to be warging 60% of the episode for a reason wonder what it could be well I didn't I didn't see it but that one time he goes into the birds and then sees the Night King and then he just sits there for a while, and it is a while. I think he never came out uh, of he it. He didn't come yeah. out of it, but it's like, and it, so that's what we were asking earlier, like what was he doing all the time? And that's maybe giving us a little hope that he will come, because he come out of right at the right time. Yep. Um, so it makes makes me think that we, gives me a little more hope that there's some discussion, I don't know, that he saw, I don't know, something he saw at the last minute when it's too late. But just, I don't know, maybe he was trying to get some information, and then, he knew he was there, came out of it, and then next episode he tells us in a meeting or something. Yep. So, 
hopefully we'll get that answer and that's kind of the, the you know feeds into the meeting or like why it's brought up yeah because certainly they're not just gonna go okay we won um cool uh let's worry about Cersei instead of saying now who the fuck was he again yeah you know what I mean he could yeah it could be like while all the you know physically capable people were just going off you know expending themselves he was expending himself cycling through so many <laughs> right. different visions and trying to figure some shit out right uh, and I was just hoping we would see some of that and see him help with the on the uh, in the weirwood net like with the actual Night King me too but uh, we, we we never saw it so we'll see hopefully we'll get some answers on that still uh, alright let's see I think uh, let's grab one more one more good one let's get a good one then we'll get out of here and uh, let everybody go to sleep and um, probably rewatch if they can sleep. Yeah. <laughs> if they can sleep. Uh, really quick, thank you, The Dragon, for subbing. Darian, AA, Kai, Jake, Lazy Nerd, um, Azaris, uh, Muhammad, Fitz Worldwide, appreciate it. And also, Randall P., thank you for the super chat. Last one, The Night King was beat before, yet he came back. Maybe Brand helps make another. Maester Lewin said they were gone, but Osha says they were sleeping. Um, yeah, I, I think it's I think it's over. The cycle's got to be broken. I, oh, I don't yeah. buy the idea that there's another one. Why would Brand want to make another one of those? The, the idea is they right. death stared him in the face. They barely made it. Barely. They got to realize why it happened. And it was because of feudalism and war. Yep. And that's the idea. So now we get the the end to the political battle, right? And there's still not being Iron Throne. I'm just saying that. Still, there's still a prediction I have on the table. So there will not be an Iron Throne. Um, they'll melt it down in some way, or it's the symbol, just like the Night King was a symbol of death. Yep. The night, the, you know, the uh, the throne, the symbol of uh, the pa- you know patriarchy at that time, and things change. We saw Bran become a knight, and the feudalism where it's all about families and special families, and everybody else is just poor trash. <laughs> you know what I mean? Could Cersei possibly burn the weirwoods? <laughs> uh. I don't know. I mean, I mean you if know, they, she hears that Bran. Well, doing I mean, something if they have that conversation and Bran says, "Yeah, he was created this way," and they say, "Well, how can we prevent that from ever happening again?" Burn him. Still happen if they want to present, prevent any possibility of something crazy happening again. Yeah, where somebody figures out that magic. You know, assuming there's still pe- children. Well, that's on that aisle, true. And faces. Bran could probably say, "Hey, I know what this is going to do to me, but this needs to be done." Maybe so. We could still see that happen. A1, I need a Xanax. Yeah, this uh, this uh, live stream was sponsored by Xanax. Yeah, that's what Chris said. <laughs> I said the that's very funny. beginning. Jack uh, Daniels and Xanax. Yeah, we were talking with a big uh, Kev was talking about earlier, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to say Xanax tonight for sure. Uh, all right, so last one here, last one. Uh, Remen, Azah, Smokescreen, Q&A, don't you just feel like with all the lore leading up to this, the ending of the Battle for the Dawn was weak? Well, the battle wasn't weak. Um, you don't have to have an actual long night number two. You have to prevent the long night. So I don't have a problem with the with the battle. Um, and because it was epic, it was the storm and all that shit. You didn't expect to play make it you know play it a role in the epic dragons. As hell. So the battle itself is fine. Um, I don't think you. I don't think you need a long like it actually to, to him to win. Um, to to I just think uh, it, the the initial impression for everybody was like wait he's just dead and we're not gonna find out but no we can still find out yep. so yeah the battle itself is fine I, I mean Hell it was great yeah. I mean it, it was, was visually great. awesome um, epic battle and uh, the dragon fights and the like I said the little shots you mentioned with Melisandre and the fire in her eyes yeah the Night King really close and vivid and actually kind of smirking. And all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, the battle was yeah, great. Yeah, Danny actually saying Dracarys. <laughs> yeah, and, and lighting his ass heel. up. And yeah. He, didn't, he, just, he just... No matter what the outcome was, seeing her on a dragon say that to him... Yeah, because she thought she had him. She dude, finally, like, because he fell off the dragon. Years you were like, yes, he fell off. And then she flies down, oh, and yeah. then she's like... Dracarys, and you think, oh shit, but you knew it wasn't going to work. Been waiting years to see So that. yeah, absolutely, Wesley Mon's visually stunning. Uh, great for that, so going to go back through it. I'll think about it some more. I'll start the uh, the review about it or whatever. Um, remember also, guys, uh, follow me on Twitch. The link is in every description. We'll talk about it again on Tuesday with Val from Because Geek on Twitch. So follow me over there, and we'll have another like live stream like this and take questions or whatever and get each other's uh, opinion because... I'll wait to talk to Val to see what she thinks about it uh, first on there. So that's a lot of fun. So do that. Um, 
Let's see. Um, I'm trying to think whether there's something else. Yeah, I mentioned the book earlier. So that book now uh, is, uh, I don't have, the, follow me on Twitter and all that good stuff. The links are all there. I don't know if I have that in this video, but it's in other videos. If you go to Amazon and search uh, The Thrones Effect, because I think they put it separately. It's a separate link from the audio book or from the ebook, the Kindle version. Which it should be in the same thing. It should be. Anyway, if you it. search the Thrones Effect paperback, it'll come up separately. And if you want to get that there, they're supposed to be sending me some too. So maybe we'll do some giveaways or whatever and, and really sign cool. some people are asking. Uh, yes, <laughs> Dr. Kyle Day, Dracanus. That would have been funny as <laughs> shit. Um, she could have said that when the whites were crawling up I the know. tail. Ah, and that's he, funny. He, he farts fire. That would have been <laughs> awesome when they were crawling up. or they were. Oh, he was chasing her, shooting fire at her. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway, really quick. Last one. Uh, Shara, thank you for the super chat. Bran will tell about Jamie pushing him after. Uh, I don't think he will. I don't think Bran will ever tell on him. Not now. Um. It wouldn't make any sense. No, he's, not he's, he's redeemed, you know, and he, and he, Brand knows it always had to happen that way. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just fishing the Nike. Yeah. Wiping his eyes. Yeah, I know. Like an old slave. Dragon shit, exactly. Oh, God. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate you hanging out. Uh, what a damn episode to process. Let me go watch it again and uh, take some more notes. Um, I should, like I said, I should go do the uh, preview. At least get it recorded tonight. I may take my time a little bit this week. It don't really seem to matter, but I'm going to do the preview video next week and kind of give you my ideas on what's happening in episode four. Um, did, did we get the name, by the way? Did we get the name of the episode? I don't oh, think we ever no. did. I'll look it Shit's up. Shit's Creek? Might be. Pretty close. Um, anyway, so I'll do that and then work on the review. Twitch on Tuesday at 9 o'clock for another live stream with Val. We'll talk about it some more there so you can follow me there and then uh, I, I don't know we'll see what else uh, this week as far as there any any separate videos uh, maybe we'll talk about this Night's King thing in more detail or something maybe I'll do some more live stream instead of videos uh, I don't know we'll see uh, we'll see what happens but anyway thank you guys appreciate it thank you mods for all the uh, you know grabbing questions and then again anybody that we miss for super chats or any of that stuff and Patreon guys I'll answer you guys directly on there we could not keep up tonight there's just no way no so, uh, and also, by the way, we'll still do the charity stream for episode six, the finale. That, look and forward to that. That was in, that's in three weeks. Three weeks now. Damn. And we're done with Game of Thrones. Uh, I mean, we're, you know, the show. We'll still talk about it for a while, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you guys. Really appreciate you guys hanging out. Really enjoyed it. Uh, getting, you know, kind of venting a little bit tonight. Yeah. <laughs> getting some feedback. And so a lot of people feel a little bit frustrated. But I think if you think about yeah, it. Yeah, you said Twitter was blowing up. Uh, Twitter was blowing up with uh, a lot of disappointment. But, I mean, I, I understand. But if you think about it a little bit, you know, uh, you, you, you'll you get, uh, you you know, it makes, it makes sense that you still can get some information on the Night King. This next episode is like a breather. It can be. I, I believe that. So and it's going to be long. Uh, yeah, another yeah. long one. Absolutely, mm. another long one. So Sweet I think we'll too. see some time has passed, and they'll kind of start, you know, respecting each other with Danny and Sansa, and they'll talk about the whole RLJ thing, and then uh, maybe we get some information on who the fuck was that guy again? Why'd he come here anyway? Yeah, how can this never happen again? Yeah, how can this never happen again? So we'll see. Maybe some things still come true as far as theories go. That's just not directly like we thought in the in the order we thought. I can see it. I, I can think see that's it. A, I think that's a possibility. We'll see. I mean at least we can get we can we can hope. Um anyway. And th- and no and right. Brad says, okay, <laughs> I was warging for a long time. And what I was able to do was in a vision cover his ears. Oh he couldn't Aria, hear Arya sneaking Aria. up. There you go. I was like Yeah, oh, I was no. holding his ears in a vision so he couldn't hear. <laughs> he was sitting there like this. And that would go right with what we were saying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Snuck up on him like a cat. Yeah, maybe so. That's funny. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there is something to that brand warding. Yeah. You know um, Game Destroyer just finished and what the fuck. Oh, we just had a whole three hour conversation. We did about brother. It, so. Yeah, we're going to get out of here, go work on videos. But anyway, thank you guys. Really appreciate it. all the subscriptions and the super chats and all that stuff. And uh, Patreon, I will respond to you guys. Uh, any particular questions you hadn't heard answered already uh, to you directly. So appreciate it, guys. Let me get over here to this. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to say. I believe, I, I'm, I'm sure I'll think of something after, as usual. Uh, all right. So, yes, uh, look for those videos. Oh, back again on Twitch Tuesday at 9 o'clock. So follow me on Twitch. And um, let's see. I think uh, we'll be back next Sunday as usual. Yep. Anyway, appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching.
And we'll see you <laughs> next time. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, we're done. <laughs> so what we're going to watch is uh, Day to Day. Yeah, like the about. inside of the episode. Yeah, that would be cool. Let me play this music one more time. Oh, God. All right, buddy. Be all done. I'm hungry. You hungry? Yeah, I'm starving, buddy. <laughs> Thank you.